Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Vectrex games. <laughs> well, we want, may not be playing the newest Vectrex games, but we are going to be playing Ooh. some Vectrex games tonight. Yeah. It has been a long time coming oh, for the show. We've been talking about it for many, many years, mm -hmm. and it is finally here. We're going to be playing some Vectrex games on Zero Page. Mm -hmm. One of my favoritest consoles ever. Uh, this is my uh, backup Vectrex. Backup. Because <laughs> the one that we're going to be playing on is sitting right in front of us, all positioned. And yeah. there's a camera right here, which mm -hmm. I can't, you can't really see right now, but there's a camera yeah. pointing at the Vectrex, yes. another camera pointing at us. Yes. This one is on batteries, so we may have to change batteries midstream, but it'll we'll all see be what fine. Happens. We'll see what happens. Yeah. I have a bunch of batteries, so. So tonight is Vectrex night! <laughs> Finally get Look to use that. the Vectrex oh, uh, yeah. sign. Ding ding. Yeah. And finally get to use the shirt. <laughs> so Mira shirt. says, I'll take your backup. No. <laughs> no, no, you're not going to take my backup. Stay away from my backup. <laughs> um, I got these two Vectrexes in... Vectri. I, Vectri in about, I think I would say 90... Six, around 1996, mm. um, when they were still expensive, <laughs> but not not as not expensive as now. Expensive I as think I got them for like um, 200 each. I, th mm. I would say around two 250 Canadian, um, which was you know fairly expensive for back then. Um, now they're I have no idea what they are now 400. You uh, had a US. third one too that you ended up selling, and yeah. you sold that for like four hundred dollars. Yeah, or something. I think I did Canadian a few years ago. So because I uh, I was missing a couple games from the library. Yeah, and there was a big package deal <laughs> on like a oh, Vectrex. Yes. And just a ton of games and a ton of stuff. I remember that. And so I got the whole package, which was a lot of money. But then I sold all the doubles and sold the extra third Vectrex. So yeah, I'm very it happy. Was a good, it was a good deal. It was a very good deal. <laughs> yes. Almost like broke even and yeah. got uh, some other stuff. Uh, I want to thank... Uh, oh, first, uh, the games we're going to be playing tonight. Uh, Vector Blade. Nice. Uh, Vector Pilot. Release, Vector Patrol, and Spidex. And maybe a sixth one if the cats are good. <laughs> or if the battery holds out. Yeah. Um, that I didn't type up. So I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers scrolling beside Tanya. Uh, Elder Farms, Garcode, Atari 800, XL Rules, Atari 1974, Atari, Atari, Patch Quest, Beer, Poke, Buck Owens, Captain Magic, Dude, Dead, Chalcedon, Donnie Mauk, Charles and Check, Charles Wheel and Colonel Lama, Dan, NBC, Daryl 1970, Drexel, Duck Moo, Cows, Grey Defender, Ground Trooper, Zero Rapper, Johnny WC, Coat, Joker, Kibrito, JRM, Carl G, Ken Jennings, Invader, Cav, uh, Fur. That's a new one. It's hard. Land Express, <laughs> Learn to Z, Mar Marco, Johannes, Mark Space, Inc., Military, McMuse, Mike's All, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Sonny, Move, Mates of Fix, Neo Media, Nostalgia, Packer, VG, Korog, Orange, What's RC70, Rendy Ghost, Brandless, VG, Ricardo, Pim, Smitty B. Smoked, Bikes, Square, S. Mears, Teleprompter, Welsh, Man, Tiki, Dan, K, Tim of Legend, Tim Tietfos, Trek, MD, 2600, and X, Ken X. If you would like to support the show mm -hmm. and subscribe, like Pack Rat VG did just before we went on air, you can click subscribe. It's free with Amazon Prime and not free with it so you can spend your hard-earned money on supporting the show oh yeah i was going to do a poll question mm. about do you have a vectrex so i'm going to really really quickly type that in um mm. well um someone gives the cats treats yeah Maybe. if somebody wants to give the Maybe. cat treats I'm if gonna, anyone has the bits if you do have bits for a small cat yeah a small kitten for bits please <laughs> meow 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 it's Do treat time. Yum, 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 yum. Yay! Who redeemed it? Vitoko, thank you to so the much. Rescue. There you go. Oh, the cats are very excited about the prospect of some <laughs> treats today. All right, who wants treats? Are we having another competition? I haven't. I don't have them ready yet. Oh, that was the gray cat. One for the gray. Zero for the sprite. Who's next? Who's next? Black cat, ring the bell. You'll get one if you ring the bell. He's trying to eat Atari's treat. Oh, two for the gray cat. Zero for Sprite. Oh, oh he's run out of the room. 
<laughs> He's right out of the room. Try what is, again. What's try the again. score? What's the score? Two zero. For this black cat? No, for gray. Oh my god, two zero. Oh, two one. Two one. Come on, Atari, you're in the lead. Keep going. Go, Atari. Keep going. Atari. Oh, oh no. two two. Two two. He caught up. Atari, get it. Oh, oh can try you keep again. Lead? Try again. Oh, oh three, three, three. Three. Wow. Holy smokes. Yes, I'm going to capture the Vectrex on this camera. Mm -hmm. um, I've set it up and it looks really surprisingly Ooh, four, good. Four, like four, really four, good. Atari, catch up. I said it's 75 subscribers. Try I try will again. do something different. I don't know what that is yet. Oh, oh. double ring again. It, it's five, four. Five all? Oh, five, four. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> he it's almost sorry. had a lead. Oh, six, oh, four. Six, four. No, the bell's over there. It's over there. It's over there. The bell is further away than your paw. <laughs> <laughs> Get closer, sweetheart. Oh! Six, five. Catching up again. Come on, you can... No, oh, don't no, don't run away. Don't run away. Seven, five. <laughs> Seven, five. Oh, it's Seven, five. Seven, five. Time to place your bets. Oh, oh eight, five. Eight, five. Oh, no, now he's really lagging oh, behind. No. <laughs> Oh, nobody, nobody got that one. Many attempts. Oh, nine, no. five. nine, five. It's game point. Come on, Tari, get one more in. Get another one. Oh, oh nine, nine six. six. Willie. Oh, oh, ten. Oh, ten, six. Ten, six. It's all over. Did and not... a consolation for Atari. Did not Good beat kitties. his high score of seven. Oh, oh really? Is away. that the best he's gotten? It's the best he's gotten oh, so far. he had a lead at the beginning. He had a great lead. <gasps> yep. All right. Um... So, poll question, do you have a Vectrex? And the uh, answers are one, yes! Two, no, sad face, crying face. <laughs> uh, three, I would like one. Uh, number four, too much money to collect. <laughs> uh, number five, not interested. No. So that should cover everything. And you can put more than one number. So you could say no, too much money to collect. Well, no implies too much money to collect. Yeah, but you so can put both, don't right? Put, no, don't put... Too. I try to cover my bases okay, there. Okay. Too much money to okay. collect means, well, But why would you no. say no, too much money to collect? Well, that's, yeah, that's true. It would be, <laughs> yes, I want one, but it's too it's much money good. to collect. Yeah. It's all good. Pick one. Yeah, pick one. <laughs> pick the one that's suits. closest to your to your answer. Um, yeah. So I, I've been collecting Vectrex since uh, I got those first two Vectrexes. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't, I think it came with like a couple ratty boxes with, with a couple games mm -hmm. uh, as well in the package uh, for whatever, four to five hundred dollars. Mm. I think it came with three or four games. And I've been collecting it ever since. Um, I have completed the North American set of retail. <laughs> don't get on me retail <laughs> uh copies i do not have mr boston no i do not have mindstorm 2 those are not retail copies oh fair enough um i do also have um so your... a lot of qualifiers there <laughs> uh, yeah. those are both thousands of dollars yeah each, so that's fair it's not happening that's fair uh, mm -hmm. and mr boston is actually one of the most expensive video games out there it it was mm. all it was only it was a giveaway or you had to write away for it. It was uh, a tie-in to promotional from for rye whiskey for wh whiskey or something. Yeah, whatever Mr. Boston is. Okay. Um, yeah, it's very very expensive now. Yeah. Um, very rare, obviously. Very rare. I I did put in some bids for Mindstorm too. I was just doing research on my email. Mm. I, I put in a bid for five hundred dollars once. <gasps> really? On, on a Mindstorm two. No, I did not get it. Not even close? Uh, no, I think it was pretty close. Okay. I think it was pretty close at that time. That was like 10 years ago or something. Mm. Um, but over the years, I've collected... I've, uh, all, I'm not going to take them down. There's 28 of them. Mm. Um, of, of all of them, all the 3D games. Mm. Um, I've got a 3D imager as well. Uh, now the... Where is it? Squished up in a corner somewhere. Yeah. Oh, and now thrown on the floor. No. <laughs> yeah, I was planning on not bringing this out, but now I'm excited to bring it out. Yeah, you kind of want to show it off, don't you? Oh, my God. <laughs> Everything is stacks on stacks of things. Yeah, Where that's did fair that enough. Fall? It fell right at oh, your there feet it there. It's just a cord. A cord okay. came down. There you go. 
Use the cat cam. Yeah, we'll flip over. Yeah. Um, so here's the three D imager. The it's dusty. Um, the Vectrex three D imager. It was the Vectrex is the first video game system to do three D games, and this is what um, this allowed for three D games um, because it's got multi colors. It it honestly looks like a torture device. It, it is a torture device actually. <laughs> Um, so you put it on your head, a disc physically spins in front of your face. That's amazing. And syncs up with the frame rate of the Vectrex to show certain things on the screen yeah. during certain colors mm. uh, in your left and right eye so that it gives the illusion of 3D. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. It, uh, it would be cool to, to display, to, um... Uh, show how that works on a live stream, but I don't know how you would. You'd have to have two. First of all, you'd have to have stereo, cameras, stereo stop, stereoscopic cameras. cameras going at the same time. Then you'd have to cross your eyes or put on a 3D VR set. Yeah. Which at that point, yeah. you, it's just too much. Stuff no, but going just on. to see the the images in each eye. Kind right. Of thing you could do one cool. and then show the camera show on the, the other. other. Yeah. And yeah. it makes a hell of a racket too. Oh yeah, it's it's. And as, it sounds like an MRI machine, doesn't it? Like it's like. Oh ch -ch 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 -ch. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and as you turn on the Vectrex. Yeah. It is literally synced to it, so as the uh, headset spins up, mm. it shows the the, um, it, I guess frames oh, wow. on the screen it goes. To, as it starts to speed up. Yeah, wow. so it, That's it's really, cool, really crazy. Yeah, it's kind That's of shutter cool. glasses. Nothing sh nothing closes down. No. It just shows on the screen as the color shows. So it's crazy. It's crazy, crazy stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't really use it because I don't want to break it. No, it I wouldn't like want to either because it seems like it would be a fairly sensitive yeah, there, item. But there have been third party aftermarket glasses like made, versions? actually. Yeah. yeah. And so each of the, the 3D games, there's yeah. a, a number of 3D games that came that you could buy. Um, each one has a different <laughs> shutter wheel. Okay. With different um, amounts of colors in each of them. Wow. Based on, I guess, the game and, and the, the different colors and wow. stuff. Yeah. Wow. Um, okay, let's uh, get to the news first, actually. Um, there's a couple pieces of there news. were there was a noise upstairs that sounded like the cats oh, were yeah. moving moving our dining room chairs around. <laughs> they probably were actually. So if you wondered why I made that look, it was quite an an interesting noise. Um, <laughs> we'll figure out what they did after the fact. So that's, yeah, that's, that's okay. usually what happens. Yeah. they've been fed and now they're, they're full of beans. They're full of beans. Yeah. Um, so uh, Zach Attack posted this on Friday. Um, if you watch the November 24th Zero Page Homebrew Twitch stream, then you know a new version of the firmware for Uno and Plus carts is in the works. Today, I'm happy to announce the beta availability of 2.3.14 of the Carmen firmware for the Uno cart. That means it's going to be the same firmware on the Uno cart as the Plus cart. And so things will work exactly the same on both. Obviously, the Uno cart won't have the options for the Wi-Fi and stuff like that but they'll look exactly the same. There's a whole bunch of new features and you can also play now the RPG demo that we um, debuted on the show as oh, well. awesome. Because it needed that new firmware to be able to play it. Very so nice. Everything okay. is available. There's all the up upgrades and even downgrades if things go wrong or if you want to revert back and they provided a link to the Twitch screen, stream as well. So that is really cool that that is moving forward and all those new technologies that we showed on that stream will now slowly start rolling out to everyone and be able to play. And I believe they're all accessible through the Plus Store as well. So you can just link to them and play them off the Plus Store. Excellent. Um, so Silly Venture 2022 Winter Edition just happened. It's a competition. Uh, they have uh, mostly Atari. I think it's all Atari stuff. Uh, yeah. Um, so they do demos. They do graphics competitions. Nice. Atasky competitions oh, as cool. well. Pokey music. Um, intros. 
uh, demos. Not really sure what the dif the the differentiating between an intro and a demo because a lot of intros are kind of demos, but I guess intros are like oh here's some. It's mostly text, I guess. I guess I there's know. a lot of overlapping yeah, <laughs> between those two. There would be. Yeah. Um, so they have all the different uh, platforms, mm. Atari XLXE, Atari ST, STE, Falcon, uh, some 2600 ones in there, music and demos, no games for the VCS. Um, one game for the Jaguar, Super Pig, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a Lynx game, a really fun looking Lynx game cool. as well. Uh, uh, one, uh, 5200 game Scorch, which we played on the show, I think as an eight bit game, obviously we've only done one 5200, uh, show so far, uh, some 7800 demos. Mm. Um, yeah. So a lot of stuff for you to check out. If you haven't seen it, it's a, like a five or six hour stream. If you want to watch all of it as oh, they nice. did it live. Nice. Yeah. And, um, let's see, let's go to. Okay, we're going to be playing On Escape, a really, really cool point-and-click adventure game oh, I like point -and -click on the games. show yeah. as an After Dark. I was talking with one of the developers, and he said it takes about two to four hours. Oh, that's not like, too bad. He did a speed run in five minutes. Of he knows course. how to play it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, a pseudo graphics I was talking to. Oh, okay. Um, who is PG there. Okay. Uh, so it's really cool. I think you'll really like it and I, be able to like make some maps. Games. So we'll, yeah. I'm going to schedule that. It's it's kind of, uh, it hasn't put, put in the schedule, but we'll do an after dark for that because it's a longer game. Yeah. Um, so yeah, check that out. Lots of really cool uh, creative stuff going on there at the competition that they hold. They held it twice this year. I don't know if they twice. always do that. They did a summer edition. This is the winter edition. Nice, nice, nice. Um... So how are the poll topics? 33% say yes, they have a Vectrex. Very nice. Which makes sense. You're tuning in to watch the Vectrex <laughs> show. Um, no, sad face, 22%. Um, number three, I would like one, 22% as well. 16%, uh, too much money. Or number five, not interested. <laughs> Um, but that's that's cool. A lot of people are interested in it. Yeah, it's um, an interesting system. Oh my god! It is. It's really really cool. Um, Can, could you have a map cam? Yeah, that? yeah. The the map drawing part. Yeah, we, that's kind of a neat we idea. Did that, actually, we did that once, I think, during some game. Drawing a map. Yeah, we oh. had like the webcam moved over and pointed oh, at the map drawing. Okay, I can't funny. remember which game we did that. Yeah. Um, I think that game wouldn't be too much interesting for maps because it's like. You do a lot on a screen and then you move to an X screen, but yeah, we could use it. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. Um, and the uh, no escape is the final version. Number five will change their mind by the end of the show. Uh, you're exactly right, Tim. Once, well, or they'll change it to too much money. Because <laughs> <laughs> some of those games, uh, I think they range, like I have them all in box up on the shelf. They would range from, I think the most common ones are now $50 each mm. and the expensive ones goes in th into the hundreds wow um yeah, yeah. they can get really expensive so i'm glad i bought m the majority of them like got them early <laughs> 10 years ago yeah was like the last yeah. around there yeah so um one of the first video games ever made was on a vector-based system in 1958 tennis for two the video really? game was made. Was that like this, a Pong clone or was uh, it? It was kind of Pongy. Okay. You, there was a net and you could hit the ball back and forth. Gotcha. It was on an oscilloscope. Oscilloscope. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, and Space Wars by Cinematronics was the first vector arcade game. Okay. Uh, 1979. Wow. I think. Um, or 78. I can't. 77? I can't remember. I didn't write it down. Silly. And a lot of the Cinematronics uh, games were licensed by Vectrex, which is under a bunch of different names. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of those arcade games were ported over to the Vectrex from the arcade games that Cinematronics made. Mm -hmm. um, because that that's a perfect thing to do, is port over all the Vector games from the arcade. <laughs> T Rex. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Hey, Good. welcome. <laughs> Boa Bad Inc. Badino. Oh, Boa Badino. Boa Badino. There you yeah. go. <laughs> um, so, 
let's learn a little bit about the Vectrex before we get into it, because that would be very helpful. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I can make this nice. Uh, there, let's do that. Okay, so the Vectrex is a vector display based home video game console, the only one ever designed and released for the home market. Mm. So there were no other vector based game systems. There were only arcade games made um, because even though this is a CRT, it doesn't draw like a CRT. No. CRTs draw line by line, one at a time, go back to the top, draw, draw the whole frame again. This is just it just goes wild anywhere yeah. it wants to go you tell it to go to x and y it, it goes to x, x and y. y it's like put the pen down draw lift the pen up uh, and that's how it draws the graphics i love how in the late 70s this is what they saw the future to be that's what star wars was everything was vector drawn graphics yeah. in star wars i think star wars is the first color vector game in yeah the arcade. yeah but like e like even the movie yeah. This is what they envision, and yes, somehow that true. has persisted, even because <laughs> we were watching a bit of Andor, yeah. which was we were enjoying. Um, but they're still they still persist with showing a little bit of that vector based. Well, it's, here and it's there, kind of cool that they didn't update the technology. I know, <laughs> like <laughs> they, they have comms, the but they don't have cell phones and, and alien and, too. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's a world in and of itself. Yes. but I just love that that was their sort of vision of the future well, was the vector. If you think you know, about it, Alien too. I know. Yeah, uh, Tempest as well. Yeah, Tempest. Like yeah. if you think about it, what you're able to do on a vector display, yeah, was miles ahead of a raster display. Yes, because you could do scaling as big or as yeah. small as you want in CAD design that yes. was the big application back yep. then you know like like AutoCAD and, and stuff like that this had a pen a light pen yeah, where you yeah, could directly right. draw on yeah, the screen on the screen for doing 3d animations yeah uh or animations yeah it's really yeah. really cool um triangles <laughs> yes it was first released for north american market in november 82 then europe and japan in 1983 uh, originally manufactured by uh, GCE, General mm -hmm. Consumer Electronics, lace, later licensed to Milton Bradley after they acquired the company, and Bandai released the system in Japan. Mm. So I didn't bother going for more than Europe, Canadian, US games. I have some uh, Canadian, Europe games, like the football slash soccer. Mm. So I have both of them. And then there's Spinball and Flipper. I okay. think there's like double names because... Of they were released with diff different names. Released in different with different areas. names, yeah. yeah. Um, but the Japanese ones, there's a Japanese console. It looks really cool. That sounds cool. And yeah. it ha and it uses like this green logo. Oh my god, it looks so awesome. Yeah. And then the, the line of Japanese games, but they are the prices are out of control. Oh, I bet they are out of control. <laughs> yeah. uh, no hope in collecting. Did those they did at they all. release as much as they did for the Vectrex here, don't or was it as popular? Do you know? So. Anyone know? Was was know. was it as popular in Japan as it was here? Well, it wasn't it's, that popular here because it, it was expensive here too. Very right? unpopular. Yeah. yeah, it was very expensive. Yeah. Um, uh, because there's a TV set in here. Oh, there's also there's not yeah. just a video game console. <laughs> there's a TV set. You the, have whole to buy the whole thing comes ready to play. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it came with Lunar Lander. Yeah. Lunar Lander was was cool. And this is the control stick uh, that comes with it. Oh, really tiny. There we go. Uh, it has four buttons, which is which is pretty cool and mm -hmm. it, mm, it advanced ish for the time. There were yeah. there was in television already out and. Uh, Coleco Vision was in there as well, so four buttons wasn't that big of a deal at that point. Um, but it had an analog joystick, which is pretty cool mm -hmm. as well. Um, and it didn't hmm. break, <laughs> unlike the 50, <laughs> yeah. unlike the 5200. This is an original one, unmodified, yeah. still works. Yeah, um, they're pretty hearty. Um, and they fit right into the screen, right? Yeah, one of them folds up right into the screen. I think that's packs amazing. Away. Yeah. It has a handle it has on the a back. Handle. Look so at you that. Can, so you can transport it. Yeah. Well, actually, here you can see the um, how it packs away there. Yeah. This is this is the original portable console. <laughs> it is. And you know, bzz, 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 move over yes. switch. We've got <laughs> a built-in screen back in 1982. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so um, there are a lot of third-party things made for the Vectrex. Mm. Um, one of them is the Audio Tap, 
for the Vectrex, okay. and also the Buzz Off kit for the Vectrex, which is sold by the same person. Let me get my notes here. Um, by Charles Tweedy. Um, I installed both of them last night. <laughs> Always last minute. Yes, he did. <laughs> um, so I did. I installed the Buzz Off and the Audio Tap. What the Buzz Off does is gets rid of the buzz because mm -hmm. the Vectrex are known for their terrible, terrible buzz mm. because of um, the design inside. Mm. Um, there's interference uh, with the with the audio. So what the Buzz Off does is bypasses that and gets rid of the buzz 95 percent of the buzz it's okay. almost non-audible okay so um what is your feedback on on doing that modification oh was God. it hard to do or so easy oh that's good <laughs> even yeah. a, a beginner solderer can do it yeah um you need i would say okay soldering skills okay like it's a bit of a tight squeeze so i've done a bit of soldering bad soldering <laughs> in the past couple of years yeah um although one of our favorite things to do to watch on youtube is people solder <laughs> hardware yes yeah it's, well, it's, it's my favorite it's, it's, it's a bit on. of a weird um i don't know what you would call it um it's relaxing side interest it's very Especially relaxing when they get to watch people working. and they get that big microscope and yes. they're like looking at the tiny things i don't know what it is anyway sorry yeah. i digress but, so i have uh, one that still buzzes and i have yeah. one that doesn't buzz <laughs> and what the audio tap does yeah is that it goes in between the audio chip yeah and the motherboard so it sits in between and extracts the audio so i have this the exact audio from the Vectrex into the system. So you will hear crystal clear Vectrex audio wow. from the games. I won't have to put a microphone up to the speaker. It's super, super clear. And this is yeah. what I wanted to do before we did the show. So you get nice audio out of it. Yeah. So Very of course nice. I did it the opposite way and planned the show and then did this at the last minute. <laughs> yeah. Well, Luckily it all worked out. Yeah. Um, so big props to Charles Tweedy. He did made amazing. This is even easier. If you, you know how to pry up a stuff. chip, yeah, um, which we already had everything out, and you just pop the chip out. It's our it's a socketed chip, so it's very very simple. Okay, didn't have to desolder it. Oh, that's and good. then you put this in between, pop the chip on, route the cable out. Very nice. And uh, there's a little adapter there. I'm not going to show it, mm -hmm. but um, it's over there, and uh, it has a line out, mm -hmm. and I have it into the same thing as our microphone here goes into. Mm -hmm. So let me know if it's too loud wow. or too quiet or anything because i can just adjust the volume quite simply mm. a uh, lot of people saying they like the sound of the buzz but that's why we have one with and one that's without right. yes. <laughs> so. you're a brave person modifying such a rare console yeah i was i was very scared <laughs> yeah um yeah really scared it's not something you do if you don't have a backup <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. but everything worked out great i still yeah. need to um fix the volume knob on that one because it's a little crackly okay um when but, you when you adjust it though yeah once yeah. you've stopped touching it it's fine yeah um he, in, he included some some stuff to fix it okay. i just ran out of time last night to do that mm. um but once i've got it good it'll be fine okay you guys won't hear it only us will hear it mm. well you might hear it over the microphone um okay let's get on to the controls okay here's the original it's fine kind of tiny but it's totally fine but i have bought some aftermarket ones mm. um such as the vec adapt um let me show that one there you go so vec adapt vectrex to mega drive controller adapter so you buy this and everybody's got a ton of these lying around <laughs> um so it is digital okay a, a digital controller so most of the games are digital mm. so that's not a problem um, so you plug this into the Vectrex and then you plug the controller into this and it's got um, button options. So it's got two different types of button options and a uh, auto fire as well, which mm. is a nice little thing. Um, and I also have this third party um, controller, which uh, is called a rad pad. Let me see if I can bring this up as well. Very nice. Rad Pad controller from 2018, um, which is really, really nice looking, which is what we'll be using mostly tonight. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is analog, right? You were yeah, saying? This is an analog controller. Mm. So this is 
uh, fully functional with every single game. Uh, it's really, really mm -hmm. nice. Vectrex scares me to work on because of the CRT. Yeah. That has been unplugged for probably three years. The one I worked, <laughs> the one I worked on, yeah. and then even then I turned it on while it was unplugged to kind of dissipate, dissipate any anything possible, the capacitors, anything, yeah. because literally they can kill you. Like, yeah. Literally oh, can the, kill the you. the amount of voltage in it. You it's mean? a television. And, yeah. Yeah. And if you've ever heard oh, anything about working on televisions, yeah. The, the word is don't. Yeah. Ever. <laughs> don't unless ever you touch know them. what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. And and the instructions he said, Don't touch that part, don't touch that part. Yeah. yeah. But I knew mine has been off forever. Yeah. So it was it was fine. And, and I'm still here, so that's okay. <laughs> mm. But this this rad pad is really nice. It's mm. super smooth. The buttons are great, very responsive. You might have to stretch a little bit to That's okay. use it. It's, it's only going to be a problem if there's a cat in my lap, like there is right now. Yes. Yeah. Um, we'll make it work. Let's see what else I have before we start the games up. Um, do, 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 do. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Let's show what homebrews I have. So let's put this on the ground here. Yep. Ugh. Oh, careful, oh, careful. Very heavy. Okay, so I have been collecting homebrews as well. Oh my goodness. Um, because a lot of these homebrews, they come out and they're gone. They are limited. That's true. Um, unfortunately, Vectrex is one of those types of communities where a lot of these are very, very limited. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to get into Vectrex now, you're going to unfortunately miss a lot of games. Um, but there are some... Oh my goodness. Some places that offer games forever, <laughs> which is, which is kind of nice. Yeah. Um, so let's go through these. Okay. Uh, Spydex, which uh, we'll be playing tonight. Very nice. I'll set that to the side. Uh, Vectrex test cartridge. I believe this is a reproduction of an original mm. uh, test cartridge they use to test Vectrexes. Mm. It has lines and it has sound tests and stuff like that. There is a Vectrex multi cart. Let's show that right now. Uh, there's a VEC Multi. This is uh, an older one that you have to open up uh, to get to the SD card. Mm. SD card. Um, this is the first one I bought. It's got just got a screw. It's in just the got back. a screw in the gotcha. back. Yeah, okay, it's, it's in an original case. Yeah. Um, then there's a VEC Multi. This is a newer version of it, and it has a pop-out SD oh, nice. card at the top. Yeah. Much more convenient. Um, uh, there's V Frogger which is Vectrex Frogger. Mm -hmm. They usually name these games Vec, Vectrex, V Frogger, mm -hmm. things like that. Um, Vectrexagon, very fun. Uh, we won't mm -hmm. be playing that tonight, but... Uh, Something for a future show, Yeah, maybe? did I include that? No, I don't think I included that on the, the, sh the games tonight. But yeah, it's... Uh, oh my God, stop it. <laughs> Accidentally clicking on things. Yeah, no, that's not that. on our list. Um, you can navigate through openings in uh, nice. hexagons. Mm -hmm. Yep, super fun. Uh, Space Frenzy. Cool. Nice. Multi cart of things. Let's see. Yeah, most of these I, I hear them announced. I look at some footage, go, that looks awesome, yeah. and then I buy it. Mm -hmm. And I haven't played any of these, so. Oh. <laughs> Concentrating on Atari. Uh, Nebula Commander. Probably most of these are space shooters. Mm. Um, Carl Quop, which is another Frogger version. Um, Starfire Spirits and Repulse. Birds of Prey, Disc Dual Demo, Abyss Demo, Vector Vaders Remix, Patriots Remix, Rockeroids Remix. So this is a multi-multi-cart. Mm. Lots of games on it. Very cool. Called Vecmania. Um, another... Let's see. Another multi-cart called Vectopia, which has Wormhole, Trackers, Vectropolis, <laughs> Spikes Water Balloon, and a controller tester. I like Miss Command. Do any of them support Atari Vox? <laughs> uh... They have their own voxes, though. <laughs> no, it's the same thing. The Vec Vox. The Vec Vox. Uh, is, it is also works on the Vectrex as well mm. for saving stuff and for doing voices. But there's a way to do voices already on the Vectrex. Oh, the Vectrex. I was yeah. going to say, they already have voices. Yeah. 
They're a little hard to understand, but they do have they them. Are. Yeah. <laughs> bits, <laughs> actually, it's pretty good on the backtracks. Bits and Bytes, <laughs> another compilation. Vector Pong, Frogs and Flies, Hex, Space Race, Quick Shot, Doodle, Vector Clock, which is a clock. Uh, release, uh, which we're going to be playing tonight. Kind of a opposite of a shooter, a mm. defender mm. almost game. So I'm going to put that aside. Uh, Vec Z. No idea. <laughs> no idea. I'm sure it's a shooter. Star Sling, probably a shooter. Uh, Crush of Lucifer, which just came out this year. Does it come with the, what would you call that? The overlay? Uh, overlay. This one does come with an overlay. It does look like it has one. And it looks like they're flames. I'm already uh, excited. I believe this is a game that was in the making, but wasn't <gasps> finished. But so never came is, out. Never came thing. out. Yep. Very cool. Uh, Vector Blade, which we'll be playing yes. first up. So I'll put that aside. Uh, Stromash Zone, which is um, uh, Battle Zone, mm -hmm. which, is a, which was a 3D game in the arcade. So this is really cool. Uh, we'll be playing that some other time, for sure. Vectrexians. That looks like uh, Galagon? Yeah, or, I, we or... almost... No, um... Uh, Galaxian. Galaxian, gotcha. Um, we almost were going to play this tonight. Okay. Um, but Later show. Other Later ones, show. another show. Yeah. Vector Pilot, which we were going to play tonight. Nice. Which is Time Pilot. So I'll put that aside. And Vector Patrol, which is Moon Patrol. And there's the overlay on the back. Nice. There we go. Mm hmm. Um, so that are, those are all the homebrew games that I have. Plus there are so many homebrew games that are just released, mm. not on a cartridge that you can just download and put on your multi-cart or on, uh, uh, emulator. So let's get to the first game, <laughs> Vector Blade from 2020, uh, by Malban. Uh, so it's a port of Warblade on the Amiga from 2010. Um, so let's check this out and put in the overlay and this is from Packrat actually Packrat oh, video games so i bought Pack it from Rat. who is in the uh, chat, chat tonight today? yeah a name we see all the time all the time always here big we supporter. love having you here big supporter that's who, very uh, cool resubscribe tonight yeah yay <laughs> So this one will have instructions, so we'll figure it, we'll know how to play this one. Let's see, does this come with an overlay? There's the instructions, there's the cartridge. Oh, <laughs> yeah, there's the overlay. Oh my goodness, I'm oh, gonna get this out. Don't hurt it. Oh, it's from the side. Oh, there you go. Don't damage the overlays. No. So important. Yeah. So what overlays are, if um, people don't know. Or if you happen to be very, very young. <laughs> yes. Uh, they provide color because this is uh, monochrome. For, to a monochrome <laughs> screen. Yeah. To a monochrome screen. Yep. Um, so there's the instructions, Ooh. which we'll read out. And all the overlays come in these sleeves um, to protect them. Mm. And they're usually very colorful. And they're they have a nice border on them too, which nice is really lovely. Border, just like arcade games. Yeah. And uh, they usually are segmented so that mm -hmm. they work with the game. So you can see this one's red on the top and blue on the bottom. So there might be like score on the bottom. This is where most of the action takes place, and it's got the name of it. Um, so let's pop this Meryl onto Pace. the screen. Oh, Meryl, Doug, Thank you, S. Ramirez, for resubscribing. Oh, you... Sorry? Oh, there's a little, there's a little, uh, pixel that pops up on the screen. Yeah. Oh, that's really sweet. Yeah. So he's putting the overlay in, but we'll flip over to it. Yeah. Okay, so let's see if this all works, this setup. Uh, it tested okay, um, so I'll get the joystick for you, so okay. you can hold that. Okay. I'm going to buy some extenders. Yeah, it just there. about reaches. It's it's okay. Yeah, it's not like pulled completely taut, so that's all right. I might be leaning forward a bit. Okay. Uh, you haven't turned it on yet, so... No, I'm just going to get... <laughs> I'm just going to get... 
get everything. This isn't oh, going to be a game. it is working. It's just Mindstorm to get things set up. Yep. I don't get too excited. <laughs> Mindstorm is the pack-in game, we'll say. It's built yeah, into the built into in the game. player. Okay. Where's my mouse? It's disappeared. Amongst the Vectrex stuff. Okay. So, Vectrex. We'll turn on the camera. I do not know the controls for this game at all. Ah! <laughs> Sorry. James is getting it set up. We're just playing uh, mm. Mindstorm. Ah! Too bad. You gonna flip it? Because I didn't really think about the overlay. Yeah, I think we're good. An, oh, cat. The overlay's not quite in. Sorry, it's it's playing, so it's extremely hard for me not to play. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. He's blocking me. There we go. That's better. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. It's pretty good. Obviously, I think this it looks overlay. Good. Ah. Uh, kitten, 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 calm down. He's very excited about the backtracks today. He is. Um, okay, that's very loud. Oh. You can hear him, eh? Huge <laughs> ass. Okay, so let's pop in. All right. Blade and I'll answer some of your questions. <laughs> it okay. does look good. Now let me know if it's too loud for you guys. Oh, you can see the vector blade. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. First time message. During calibration or nearly anywhere in Vector Blade, press button 1 for a short help text and button 4 to exit. Okay. So what is the... Okay. Maybe 4 sure. to exit now. Is your Vectrex buzz or no buzz? No buzz! <laughs> <laughs> Straighten this text. How? Left and right. Or up, down. <gasps> ah! No! Dude. It didn't do anything though. No. Okay, let's restart. 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 Hopefully, it remembers that we didn't actually finish it. It does take time to warm up, doesn't it? The brightness increases. Uh, I don't know about that. The sound <laughs> is good. Okay. Uh, looks great. Do you need a special camera? No, but you do need to know how to calibrate the camera so that you don't. Okay, it's just. You you do it. I don't know what's going on there. Hmm. What button moving. did you press to get out? I don't out? know. I pressed like... Oh my Yeah, God. I don't know. Not one. Okay. Not one. Here. Didn't know there was a calibration. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> How are you supposed to straighten that text? I feel like this is a joke. It's like, oh no, you can't <laughs> no, actually straighten the so. text. <laughs> Maybe it's in controller number two? Oh, possibly. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Joystick up and down buttons. to align the drawing. Use the joystick up and down. It's Course smart. alignment. Uh oh. Do you want to try the. No. Hmm. This is the first ball. Yeah, exactly. Pretty and difficult. we have lost. <laughs> well, I'm going to plug in the second joystick. It looks straight to me. <laughs> How much have you been drinking tonight, Carl G? <laughs> yeah, try the original. Maybe yeah, that'll work. It shouldn't make any difference. It but... should not because this is a analog joystick, but uh, hey. And you were just using No, it. we're not using a digital joystick. No. <laughs> 
but uh... are you pressed four? Do you press one instead of four? Four. Press four to confirm. There you go. Oh, weird. Mm. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Well, maybe it's joystick two. Maybe it's a joke. <laughs> the text right is now. never straight. Up and down. No. Well, and that's what? really bizarre. Maybe it wants an. Is there is there a knob? Joystick? Is there any? There's nothing no, no. on the front, right? There's nothing on the front. Can't adjust it with the volume knob or anything. No, no, no. <laughs> there is an instruction manual, but it says to use up and down, and both right now aren't working. Uh, are we supposed to be using a digital joystick? Tim of Legend, fly the mission uncalibrated. <laughs> <laughs> uncalibrated mission. Uh, and maybe in the just have to lean to the left the whole time. Well, it would just be a display thing. Yeah. But that's still a little odd. Um, due to the analog nature of Vectrex hardware, every Vectrex behaves slightly differently. Hmm. Um, it shows an analog joystick being plugged in. Hmm. That's super crazy. Okay, hmm. we're just going to keep, keep powering through. Okay, back with this one. Hold that. Okay. Try it again. Yep. It's just... A challenge, right? Yeah, it's fun. It'll just be a challenge to always just tilt your head slightly to the left whenever the text is on the screen. There we go. Okay. Looks good. 70% power on the battery. Oof, that is not straight. Oh well. Try that one? Nope. Nope. Oh, well. Keep going. Power through it. Okay. Well, let me read about this one. Because <laughs> that's probably screen size. No one mentioned an IQ test at the beginning of this game. <laughs> it's like, can you see these? Can you can you read these these numbers? No? Okay, let's... Um, okay, is this better or is this better? How about this? Is this better? Or okay. is can this you better? move the numbers? Change the numbers at all with the yeah. joystick? Oh, oh good. it's the screen. So what am I supposed to do? Make it bigger than the... Uh... It's the size of the display. So, so you, you don't want it to exceed the... Probably want it smaller than... Just go smaller. Maybe a bit... There. There? That looks good. Okay. Yeah. Which I think that was the default. Okay. Keep 128. Going. Yeah, there you go. Um, don't know what that is. Yeah. S Ramirez <laughs> A or B? A or a. B. Or B. I don't know. They're about the same. <laughs> uh, okay. Still calibration. Can you move that up, down, left, right? No. I can't. Okay. Move it Keep going right. forward then. Hmm? Press four to continue. Whoa. Can you move that up, down, left, right? I cannot. This may look a little strange. <laughs> Something funny is going on here. Because you're supposed to um, make that look proper, and it's kind of out of alignment. Make it look like a, a robot. Hmm. The bosses are drawn with a widely different scale than any other character. Align their... Them as well, them as, as, well, well as, as possible. But I can't... It's not adjusting at all. That's super weird. I don't know. Oh, well. we'll just that have, doesn't look terrible, though. That doesn't look bad. Yeah. <gasps> wow. That sounds very familiar. <laughs> so what is that? Battlestar Galactica. Written by Malbin. Music by BTK. Good sound chip. It does. Mm -hmm. Very good sound chip. It's the um, Yamaha chip, which is the same chip that's in the Dragonfly. Mm. Enjoy the game. 
Okay, so up <coughs> is start the game, down is to display high scores, left to display achievements, right to display options. So let's so go say to that options. Again. Up, so say that again. up to play the game. Up to play, down to... Display high scores, which there are okay. none. Okay. Left to display achievements, which there are none. Right to go to options. So okay. Go to right. <laughs> Maybe because your Vectrix was a buzz unit, some originals were no buzz. Very few were no buzz, I believe. So difficulty, you're on easy. Okay. Mode is normal. Calibrate, let's not do that again. Do you want to try to see? Uh, we could try again. Okay, Press let's it. just, I just want to see no buzz. Maybe hold it for a bit. I am holding that, it. Uh, the pack rat says hold it like no. for a while. No. Oh, left, well. right, so that it's supposed to be up and down. Yeah, that's what it says in the manual. Oh, I'm scared. I hope I hope well, the controls are working properly. No, it's just for display. Are you just sure? Just press, just get through this again. Keep going. Oh, Faster. Just go right so through it. This so sad. Just go through it. Go through it. Mm. Okay. So options. Difficulty. And I just go back. Oh, see, it is going up and down. So yeah, you want to no, go it's... back? Yeah. You don't want to you don't you Just don't want back. me to okay. So go to play. Which is up. Up. Ready player one. Ooh. Level one. Shoot the thing, shoot all the things. Oh my goodness, that's a slow shot. <laughs> Am oh, I might collect those. Oh, I collect these? Monies. Oh, now you have double fire. Two at a time. Nice. Okay, I will read about ah! this. Ship movement. Your spaceship is displayed on the bottom of the screen. You can steer your ship by using the joystick left and right. In case you encounter an asteroid field, weapons will not help you. The controls are automatically switched and weapons cannot be fired anymore. And in it, instead, in addition to moving left and right, you can accelerate and decelerate using button four, speed up, and button three, slow down. What is it? Four is speed up and slow down? Uh, in the asteroid field. Oh, I see. Yeah, not right now. Collect everything except the triangles. Triangles are bad. Triangles Tim, are Tim, bad? Okay, Tim thank you, says. Tim. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Tim of Legend. The triangles are bad. Okay. Oh, there's a triangle in there, don't Yeah, okay, fair enough. Good. Um, I'm reading the discussion of Vector Blade, Spice War says. It mentions using the buttons to step through each value for calibration. Oh. The buttons didn't seem to do much of anything, though. Uh, Yates Sparks, you installed a no buzz mod, but the system is a buzz. Oh, oh, that's thank you. Funny. That probably explains why it wasn't adjusted Level properly. Do you think? Yes. Ah. Yeah. Thank you, D Train, for ah. subscribing. That is almost definitely why it is. Thank you, because I was wondering what you guys were getting at. It's like ah. your system is a is a buzz. It's like, well, no, I fixed it. <laughs> well, originally it was a buzz. So. Yeah, when I saw the video for this game, I was like, ah, the, the bullets were coming down. You went right into it. I know, but there's stuff never. coming down. It's very confusing sometimes. There's a lot never, happening. <laughs> never get get the stuff when there's a bullet in the way. I know. I'm... It's not worth it. Thank you. Thank you for that very obvious. Uh... Oh. oh, the flame went out. Oh. oh, this is so cool. Okay, so go back to calibration then. Oh, you got a high score. D train. I just got here. What did I miss? Us trying to calibrate a game. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try to calibrate it properly. The music is fantastic. Yeah, the the sound chip in, the, in, wow. in this system is really good. Hi, and the music is good too. Okay, yeah. go to calibration again. Which is right, and then option or calibrate. Okay. And it's a buzz! Yay! There we Yay. go! Oh, thank goodness. Thank you, chat. Thank you so much. Is that straight? Yep. Yay, we'll have straight bosses. They'll all look proper. Up a bit. Oh, sorry. I did. No, I just stood up. Okay. That's fine. It's kind of a downgrade, but... What is uh, this? I'm not sure. Okay, so what is this supposed to look like? Well, you'll you'll know when you see it. Oh, too far, too far, too far, too far. There? Yep. That looks like all lined up. 
That I, looks good. I think that's just showing something. That does look good. That looks good. Eh? Uh, go up and down. Look at the mouth of the guy in the middle. Oh, go up. Up. Up, down a bit. There. We're not that close to the screen, so... <laughs> yeah. You guys are seeing it bigger than we are. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yay! Oh, that okay. looks better already. Excellent. Thank you, everyone! Ooh, thank you for your help! Okay, weapons. Okay, keep playing. <laughs> Ready, player run. And you can do cool things like that on a vector system. Yeah! <laughs> Whoa. How harsh is display in your eyes? Not at all. It's it's really good. And it does have a brightness um, in the back. If you want to turn it down or up, it's got adjustments. Um, yeah, it's a very um, it's a very soft look to it. If I can describe it as soft. It's not it's not harsh or really bright on your eyes. And also the um, the programmers can make the things brighter or dimmer. Don't get that. Good. <laughs> I'm paying attention. Don't you worry. Uh, weapons. To fire your basic weapon, either use button one or four. I, you... I've been using four. Four is more comfortable on this controller. Yeah, because it's further away. Yeah. Um, should your fighter be equipped with any kind of smart bomb, these can be activated using button two. Oh. So. I will wait until I... there are a lot of people on the screen yes. to see how that works. <gasps> Oh. I always get I get I get very spooked by the things that drop down. <laughs> well, especially when they're uh, that close to you. So what was it? Two is a smart bomb? Uh, no, I two. Don't. Yeah, didn't do anything, so I yeah. clearly don't have any. So there'll probably be something that drops down that should be oh, that'll be more obvious. Is that like a dollar bill? I think it's a dollar bill. Nice. I'm impressed with how many move, uh, moving objects there on the screen with not lot much loss of brightness. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of how it works. The more things you draw <gasps> right on the screen, it. the less time it has to draw them. Um, lost your power. I know. Ah, there's so there's so much on the screen right now. <laughs> they die for you. Oh yes, they do. You know what? Ah. Um, okay, the over. buttons, yeah, he's going to do much better than I, <laughs> than I just did level four. Um, oh, it didn't remember. Back thank you. Um, I like how the shot that's coming down is really bright compared to the rest of it. That is good. I, I, it makes it really visible with everything else that's coming down. Very nice high score table. Yes. Okay. I'm let's impressed do this. with how many moving objects there are on screen and with not Keep much loss the of manual. brightness. Yeah. I handed it to you. The what? Sorry? <laughs> what, where did you get? Get to. Just after weapons. Until we the one after weapons. Okay. Ooh, shield. Nice. So you only get two um, bullet. Oh, three bullets now. Weapons? So you mentioned. Uh, yes. Okay. Pause. Oh, no. Skip that. <laughs> How do you pause? The game can be paused by pressing button three. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, yeah. In okay. pause mode, the st stats of your current game and the equipment of your ship um, are displayed. So you can pause at any time to see what power-ups you have, I guess? Yeah. Um, button four exits the pause mode. Collectibles. Only debris remains of enemies that are destroyed by... What? Only debris remains of enemies that are destroyed by you. Your ship, the Vector Blade, is equipped with a scanner device that automatically scans the debris and displays information whether a usable or dangerous uh, item is hidden among the debris. Okay. To make your life as a pilot as simple as possible, your screen only displays items that the scanner deems noteworthy. So the following is a list of items that your scanner is known to recognize. So one shot. So when you see, what is that? An octagon with a line down the middle with one line. This is the most basic weapon that can be equipped to the vector blade. You will learn that this item is a malice in disguise, Ooh, since this. it may happen that you collect it and downgrade a previous installed weapon. So if you see only one line in what drops in, like yeah. the little the little octagon, um, then it's Get just it. a single shot. It's, oh. a, sh it's single shot. Okay, so don't None, nonetheless, starting the game, you might want to collect these two since you also get an additional bullet in, in the air. Oh, okay, so you get an additional bullet. 
Ooh, how much Ooh, do I have? 200. I never got to this. 249. Bullet, bullet two. Oh my goodness. You get to buy stuff? This is the best game ever. <laughs> I want that. That's cool. Another bullet? No. No, you can only buy one. Ooh, okay. faster rate. Yes. The two shot. The first weapon upgrade immediately doubles your fire. So it has like an octagon with two lines oh, in it. Yeah. And that's your double fire. Ooh, look at you go. Yeah, we're not quite close enough to see what's in those octagons, <laughs> unfortunately. No, it's so Armor, really hard. <laughs> if there's like a little upside down V shape um, in an octagon, it's armor that protects you from one enemy shot. It lasts indefinitely or until you are hit. Oh, okay. I think I'm going to just have to get a bunch of power ups because I oh, can't see this. what's in them. Look at that. That's, uh... Scoop. It's a scoop. Oh, it picks things up. After collecting the scooper, Vector Blade is able to influence up to two aliens to fight alongside you. Oh, I can see the line. See that one? <laughs> Thank you, Neo Media, for resubscribing. Good evening to you. Yes, good evening. So the scoop effect is timed, but the captured enemies will stay with the Vector Blade until the next warp. So if you get that again, that's awesome. Oh, they'll fight with you? I definitely not get that. No, 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 they'll fight with you and shoot. Yeah, I've never seen that. Yeah, no, you have to scoop up an enemy. So don't oh. shoot the enemy, you have to scoop them up, it oh. seems. Oh, oh look, boss. Oh, it's a oh. boss. Look at when I shoot him, it gets bright. Oh my goodness, That's that is so, so cool. So cool of an effect. The D-Train, oh like God. an old television. <laughs> I, I want that. That is super cool. Oh my God, that's awesome. Oh, wow. Uh, the, the octagon with the dollar sign, um, all visible, oh, wow, money bomb, um, all visible enemies are destroyed and leave something valuable behind. Ooh. Um, the remains of the enemies are displayed as money. Oh, I missed one. Or two. I don't know how many I missed. Oh my gosh. Warp failure? Oh. What? What? what did... uh, I should, probably should have described uh, <laughs> what you do in the warp. Diamond bomb has a diamond in it. Octagon with a diamond. Upon collecting of this strange little device, all visible enemies are destroyed and leave something valuable behind. The remains of the enemies are displayed as diamonds. Rumors have it collecting a huge amount of diamonds might come in handy someday. Extra bullet. Octagon with a B. This very nice extra allows you to have one more shot in the air at any given time, up to a maximum of 10. Oh, I want 10. Yeah. Uh, octagon with an S, you can move faster, which you oh, move fairly I slow. Just got one. Yeah. Um, Packrat says this game is still for sale. Yes, yes, it is. Um, extra rate, so two upside down Vs, the speed of your shot increases. Um, extra time has like a clock face on it. Ooh, All money. timed effects extend for an additional five seconds. Five seconds. Mm -hmm. Mind storm with lines. I'm gonna save my money. Yep. Triggers a special event. Your ship encounters a minefield. You must navigate your ship through the field and dodge incoming mines. Wow. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that yet. What level is that? I don't know. No, you capture it and then you, you trigger an, an event going through a minefield. Maybe that was the oh. warp. I don't know. Shield, fighter enhancement, and timed. So if there's a little shield in the oh octagon, God. the vector blade is shielded from nearly all damage for a limited amount of time. Let's follow you. Wow. And you can't uh, shoot them. No, you have to stay on one side and then go way to the other side. Oh my God. Ooh, get that. Kamikaze. Oh, you fall down at me. Um, if it's got an X and two lines in it, it's a multiply two times. All scores you receive are multiplied by two. She is the slayer. This is really cool. Oh, multiply yeah. five, five times, an X with a V, and then your scores are multiplied by five. So that's okay. a pretty good extra. Stupid shot. Go one with a line in it. <laughs> There's lots of power-ups, nice. so. Scoop, yeah, I, I explained that. Money items. Money items are discernible by the rectangular shape. Um, they give the amount of money denoted. First so death. they actually do have a number on them, but it's very hard to see. Five, twenty, fifty. Malice items, so things that hurt you. Ah, that's what I need to know. All of the the things with the triangles, avoid the triangles. One has a minus B, 
Upon collecting the amount of shots in the air at the same time will be reduced by one. You do not want that. Minus S reduces your speed. And two upside down Vs. Um, the speed of the fired bullets will be reduced because they are very slow when you first start. Wow. Rank mark. That's a rank oh, marker. God, no, I it's a rank marker. It. Oh, collecting a complete set of rank markers enhances your military rank. So you want to okay. get those big round ones, okay. and your rank increases if you get all of them. So, shop within the game. Every five levels, you're invited to enter a shop and spend your well-earned money. The shop offers a wide selection of useful items, but it may be that not all items are available. Some items can only be bought after you have reached some internal goals. To navigate within the shop, use joystick up and down. To exit the shop, select done and press the four button. Button four, sorry. Uh, to buy an item, select the desired item and press button four. At the top of the shop, your current money is displayed. Each item listed shows also the cost. Um, on the bottom left, you can see three of your most important fighter stats when you're in the shop. Your speed, your bullets, and your rate. So the speed of your bullets. The higher the bar within the display, the better off you will be. This is getting very hard now. Two bosses. Get the money. And especially when the UFO comes by. Oh no! He goes... Oh, he has some fast shots. Didn't do it that time. Thank God. Very annoying slow shots. Ah! That! Deadly! It's killed me. Before. Scare butts. <laughs> oh! No! Oh! And the flame goes out. Wow. Upon death, your fighter gets downgraded and you have to restart the current level. Rank multiplier one! <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, see, mine came up again. Oh! Really? That's weird. Anyway. Could we reset it? We may have reset it. I don't know. Lol, that candle flame is great. Yeah, it and is. snuffed. Your life has been snuffed out. I wonder if it keeps these on the cart? Probably not. It did mention something about Atari box. Mm -hmm. Let's check out the options. So there's easy and normal, or easy difficulty and mode normal. Oh my god. <gasps> 1 to 15. Do you think that's a level? starting level you're gonna start at 15 hardcore nice let's do hardcore yeah 15. oh my goodness what is that easy i can't alter it hmm i can only no go it's up. just one to 15 difficulty oh, one okay. to 15 oh yeah you can't change the easy hmm. oh you can have different inputs uh oh. okay so let's go hard more hardcore oh. level 15 so how do we plug this thing into Nora? <laughs> <laughs> Scores are saved to cart. Oh, cool. Well, they're probably using about the same technology, so... Oh, I have terrible shots. Oh, I need to upgrade. There, there you we go. go. There I don't go. know what level I got to. About 15, I think. Or, or more. Because this is about what I was on. Doesn't seem hardcore. Get the bullets. Oh, get the bullets. There you go. Oh, now I have five. Thanks. Oh, this is level 15, right? Yeah, I think that's about where I made it to, actually. Mm. I hate them. Oh, I hate that emo. Oh! Oh, I... oh one life! <gasps> that's what hardcore, oh, hardcore mode is, clearly. Oh my god, that's an amazing game. It's so, so much good. fun. Yeah. That's so much fun. So, you guys like that one? <laughs> <laughs> what moves this game from Malbin into the pantheon of straight up Vectrex classes is incredible attention to yes. detail. There's so much packed into yeah. Vector Blade. There's yes. so much going on, and every level is different too, which is amazing. Yep. Absolutely astounding. Mm -hmm. How do I get this out? Oh, yeah, it's got the little thing at the top. Excellent. Super fun. Great one to start off with. Vector Blade, yes, yes, it is available at Pack Rat VG. Our friends at Pack Rat have one for you waiting. <laughs> All you have to have is a Vectrax. A Vectrax and a little bit of money. And 33% of the people here have one. So, so how many people go. are changing their letter to Santa? <laughs> like Might Santa, be a little late. I would like to make a modification. Oh, speaking of that, I saw Al posting about Atari Age releases. Um, and that he 
most likely we would be putting up the new games in the store before Christmas mm. or um, or very shortly with a warning that some games won't be shipped immediately. Okay. Because um, I think it's 7,800 games. Mm. This is not going in. That's going to have to wait till later. Yeah. Mm, As we can per usual. manage that after the fact. That's yeah. fine. I'm covered in cats here. There's a black cat oh, here so and there's a lucky. gray cat here. So the next game we're going to be playing is Vector Pilot. Nice. Um, a perfect game to translate to Vectrex. It's Time Pilot, another super fun shooter. There may be a theme here. <laughs> um, oh, I should show it off. Well, I did it before, but mm. yeah, we're going to play Vector Pilot. And it comes with an overlay as well. And that's, that's the coolest part. I love the overlays. Plasticky smell. Okay, let's turn this off. Wow, Vector Blade is amazing. I'm glad I bought that one. So, uh, time Ve Vector Pilot's perfect because your ship stays in the middle of the screen. Mm. So the the overlay colors. Um, makes a lot of sense because you can have the color in the middle of the screen for your uh, ship, um, a static thing. There it is. <laughs> Struggling. Having some trouble getting yeah, out the I overlay. Know. I love those. They have that plastic coating that oh, kind of I loosens as you as you push it backwards. There. Yeah. There, there we go. I love those plastic cases. Oh yeah, huge old school kind old of school Genesis style. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's that is nice. Look at that. Wow. Very nice. Okay, let's switch over. Actually, let's see how much battery we have. Oh, 44. That's enough. You're doing good. Yeah, I think it's enough for Excellent. another. Ooh. It's not plugged in then, I guess. No. Go get that zoomed in. It wasn't showing the full. It's pretty good. There we go. Until the black cat wakes up and smacks his head on it. But yeah. there you go. They just kind of sit in a little groove, don't they? The overlays. They just kind of they pop do, in, which yeah. is nice. They don't. Yeah. Slam no, there's no something. magnets or anything like that. Oh my goodness. This game has been dedicated to the Canadian fighter really? jet. Really? The Avro Arrow. Oh, Interesting. Wow. Hmm. Some Canadian. Yeah. Canadians that's, slash Canadian fans in the office. That's wrong. Look at that. Vector Pilot. Wow. The colors look fantastic in that overlay. Oh yeah. Time to fly, get up there, and shoot your way through different time periods in aviation history and future. All levels are included. 1910, 1940, 1972, 1984, and 2001. But beware, folding time could sometimes turn to folding space. Hmm. Uh, yeah, game configuration. Configuration or options? Configuration? Oh, that's weird. Button mode, joystick mode, calibration. Should we calibrate? Sure. Do joystick to adjust values, hold button one to adjust X, Y drift, hold button two to adjust scale. I didn't touch anything. Oh. I mean, it looks fine to me. Okay, sure. Um, <laughs> joystick mode. I would just leave things as default. Yeah. I think we're fine. Start it up. Game or options. game options. Let's we'll see, see the what's... options. Difficulty. Easy, Let's go easy because I've never played this before. Yeah. Uh, excellent. Oh my goodness. Start game. So what am I doing here? You shoot everything and oh, wow. pick, pick, pick up the... Um, what am I shooting with? One? Always four. Four? I think it's always four. Oh, there we go. And pick up the, the people in the ah, um, ah, ah. parachutes. Ah. I think I, oh, I think I played a version of this game before. Yes, we have. Um, 
Oh, EEPROM memory. Vector pilot card is equipped with an onboard EEPROM memory allowing automatic and permanent saving of calibration data and high scores. Uh, button one, rotate left. Button two, rotate right. Button three, pause. Button four, fire. Or the joystick. Uh, okay. Vector pilot places the gamer in a futuristic jet fighter against a huge number of enemy planes. Your allies are being shot down all around you. You must rescue them as they are parachuting down. Here's some tips on how to play the game. Point the joystick the, wi the way you wish your paint plane to go, not the way you want to turn. Oh, gosh. So it's... Um, it's very confusing. So if you want to go up, press up. If you want to go down, press down. That's about it. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, get that parachute guy. Where? And he's, oh, get that one. Now the ah, I, I'm like turning the wrong way. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not to the right, used to... Go right. <laughs> It's, it's screwing me up a little. Yeah, it's a little different controls. The controls are a little bit, take a little bit of getting used to. It's not terrible. My son terrible. would love this. We play Time Pilot all the time when we visit, visited my favorite arcade in New Jersey. We need, uh, S. Ramirez also said, we really need a 7800 or proper 2600 version of Time Pilot. That is true. Uh, we did play the 2600 version when we did, when we went through all the games that were ever released. And it wasn't, terrible if i remember correctly yeah i there's remember a, playing it i a really remember that one eight bit version of it ah. um that one's that one's quite ah. good what did i hit um a 7800 time pilot would be awesome so there's there's one right for the picking that's like the boss so you gotta is it yeah gotta kill i it remember i remember playing this game yes. oh my goodness it's screwing me up the the directions and everything <laughs> it really is it really kind of messes you up this is easy wow yeah, <laughs> apparently. Awesome sounds. You have to get a certain number Ooh, of the calibration guys. Calibration does need to be calibrated. Yeah, it's a little off. That's a okay. A little bit squished on the bad. right hand side. Yeah. Ah! Isn't there a great 2600 work in progress for this? Is there? I'm Is that what there. we were playing? No. Ah! no. That was a that was a right release. Right into it. Interesting. I don't know that one. I would have it in my archives if, if there was one. Let's see. Oh pilot. my god. Level 2 is suddenly much harder. <laughs> oh, I don't have it. Mm, unless I'm it's moving a lot faster. Else. This is the easy mode? Oh my god. Um, press the fire button to shoot and tap the button repeatedly to maintain a stream of gunfire, which is Tanya is doing. Yeah, you do have to keep tapping. Tap, tap, uh, tap, tap, tap. Ah, this is terrible. Look out for small figures parachuting down with parachutes that have a cross on them. Fly your plane into these downed pilots to rescue them. You receive a bonus for each pilot you rescue. Wow, look at that. It is so nice. Oh, it's a bit. Why is it all wacky? Shouldn't be struggling like that. Not that much. It's probably because there's so much on the screen. The refresh rate is a bit. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go back up. Oh, you can use the buttons instead of the joystick to turn left, right. Yeah, that might be easier. I don't know. Cool. My turn. Okay, I'm gonna run out. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> Top Gun. Yeah, Top Gun. Yeah. Thing. Really nice. I'm not gonna calibrate. Oh, I'm gonna play easy again. That music is very familiar too. What is that from? Is that from the game? there. Yeah, this is a really good version of it. Is that the Time Pilot theme? Okay. I don't think I've ever played Time Pilot in the arcade. It's not at our local arcade, but if it was, I would I would play it. Oh, what? Uh, I didn't see what hit me. 
You distracted me. Blaming you. Yeah, well, I died when you came in. Just gonna have to blame it on you. Couldn't have been me. My bad playing. Oh, extra life. Oh, this is easy mode. <laughs> if I got an extra life already, unless it's super generous with the first life. Some games are like that, where it's like, oh, the first life, you get it, like, within five minutes of playing, and then the second life, it, oh, it's bullets. Oh, they're so tiny. They're hard for me to see. That's why. Because I can see the bombs very easily. Like, we're, we're sitting unnaturally far from this Vectrex uh, in order to be able to do this. Oh, my God. Oh, I killed it. That was a terrible, terrible game. Oh, there we go. I'd buy another Vectrex if the prices weren't so expensive. Another one? You need two? Oh, my God. Well, I have two. I understand. Oh, that was close. I understand the need for two, because then you can mod one. And there's, like, really cool um, um, skins you can get for your Vectrex. I'm, oh, God. That you can decorate the outside of it. I mean, I would only do that if the outside was, like, completely wrecked on my Vectrex. Both of mine are pretty decent condition. There's, like, a little white mark on, on uh, the one beside me. Not the one we're playing on, but... Oh, terrible. How's it going? You may have to buy your backup. Oh, my, well, my... You can't buy this one, but... My you backup back one. Uh, I didn't make it very far. Did you make it past level two? Did you no, beat me? No, I beat don't me. think I did. I did very poorly. Where, where's my high school? Oh, you're putting yours in. It's, it's not... I do remember playing that game, though. Uh, I think... Oh, I love the overlay. The colors are so bright. Yeah. They look so cool. Maybe dim the room lights might reduce glare. Uh, no, the glare, it's, it's just tiny. It's just small. It's yeah. a little far from oh, us so the camera can see it, so. Uh, oh, of course. You beat me. Yeah. <laughs> great, great tube on it, and one, that's one of the reasons I got it for, it's a parts unit. Mm. Okay. Yeah, both mine are in excellent working condition I'm really yeah well i had a third one i can't remember what the wrong with was wrong with the third one um i think it was just the the condition of the box it was or the case other, other than that the mm. third one i had was totally fine maybe it was the volume control which isn't really that big of a deal you can fix that up pretty easily what killed me is the bullets and i said that we sit pretty far away from this so the bullets are they're super very small tiny. <laughs> they're a little hard to see so yeah like they're just like the vectrix is a game you want to be about two feet from your face yeah because the screen isn't so big we're about six feet like i said the original handheld gaming <laughs> system you want to be like right there <laughs> yeah you do run ah bullet a bit more conscious of what where the bullets are now. It it looks so good though. It I, does. I, it's the overlays like really the add overlays, a lot to it. Yeah, they really do. Yeah. And that's what they did on early uh monochrome, monochrome games. Uh, yeah. What? Early monochrome arcade games. They they were mm. like literal overlays on them. So is in essence it, it's the Vectrex is, is an homage to oh my god. Homage to arcade games, mm -hmm. early arcade games, Vector arcade games. Which, which is pretty obvious, but the overlays really sealed the deal for that. This uh, controller is really good. What do you think of this controller? Excellent. Yeah. Uh, the other one is not terrible, but this one, you can hold it. Yes. It's... And press the buttons in a very easy way. Like your thumb just, just shifts between one, two, three, four. Yeah. Which... Um, the original one, because they're all in a row, is is a little more awkward to hold. This is fantastic. Um, you said it came out in 2018. Uh, yes. And is it still being sold? It is actually. So I, I, I would recommend I, getting this if you are at all interested in the Vectrex. And I think as well because the the um, joystick is analog and is the yes. same type of joystick. Analog joystick. You still have that kind of 
homage to the experience of it, the analog joystick. Well, some right? games you need the analog joystick. Gotcha. Not not too many, but um, you can also use the driving controller on some games. Some games have allowed the twenty six hundred driving controller for it. Mm. Um, I, like this one would be kind of a candidate for it um, because you just spin in a circle, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. It's a game over. No. no. Oh, boss guy. Does a video out mod exist for the Vectrix? No, that's impossible. <laughs> um, the closest you could get is like an oscilloscope that would analyze the output, I guess. But it's still... Oh, but it's still not a video out mod. Mm. Oh my god. Did I, it's did a, I, it's did a hard game. Did I come first place? Or am I going to relegate... Uh, First place to you. First place! Boo! <laughs> That's easy mode. Wow, this is a hard version. It's a hard game. <laughs> all the other ones I played, I, I kicked ass, like looped around. Mm. It's a lot on the screen. Very nice. Very, very nice. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the third game. So if you like Time Pilot, that is a good and challenging version of it. Um, I'm going to run it down the battery with that being on. Mm -hmm. So let's uh, put this away. Very nice. How do I pull this out? This just uh, at the top. It just sits in there. Yeah, which is which is good. It doesn't. Oh, yeah. you can't see that. That's fine. <laughs> you have to show it to that camera. Show it to this camera. Ooh. Not too close because it gets blurry. It's not out of focus. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Oh, this case is cracked. How cool is that? Yeah, it is a little bit blurry. So cool. It's so colorful. That's awesome. There you go. Thank you. This just sits. I'm going to have to. I have some extra sleeves somewhere. I'm not going to put this back in. No, here. not let, here. Let go. Let go. No, Things are you're not going to do that? No. No, no, no. It, okay. It's already sticking to the plastic. You just leave it on the inside. And eventually, oh, can't. eventually, it'll it'll get wrecked yeah. if it stays there too long. Very true. Uh, there you go. Thank you, D Train. Yep. Um, so mm -hmm. the next game, third game we're going to be playing is Release. Now I don't know how to play this one, and it is by Malbin and VTK. This package contains one game cartridge, and I bought this from Packrat as well. Mm. But we'll find out about this game together. This one does not have an overlay. Let's switch over to the camera again. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> is a port mm -hmm. original by Gmo Games. So let's read about release. Oh, purple and black. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> this game is a port of the game originally developed for the iOS and Android by Gmo Games. Mm -hmm. The port of the Vectrex was done by permission. Um, the game doesn't bother you about a made-up story of you defending some planet or whatever. It's a game without a story. The player can only do two things. Press a button, release a button. <laughs> That's why it's called release. Nice. It's a nice little demo in the beginning. Uh, these are the only controls you have in the entire game. The rest is timing the above action. The player, base, is in the middle of the screen, represented by... A little loud, even for... I'm liking this intro. This intro feels like the game. That's pretty cool. Johnny the Wizkid, are you streaming this by pointing the camera at the TV? Because that's exactly what I used to do. Yes, it is pointed directly at the <laughs> Yep, tracks. there's my hand. Yeah. Um, you can see the lights in the background reflecting on the screen. <laughs> added bonus yes. there. 
and the, us. The clue Hi. to getting a high. Oh. You can see us in the screen. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Funny. Um, okay. When you press the button, the polygon grows a shield and also its covered area. When you release the button, the polygon shield vanishes and everything that was covered by its area explodes. All the while, different enemies approach from all sides, closing in to the center. Once they touch you, the small centered polygon, the game is over. Uh, in the beginning, very few enemies appear, but the game soon gets quite stressful. Mm. Okay, go for it. So you go like... Press it. Let go. I don't understand. You have to press it when it's over top of the enemy. Oh, when the edges... Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful that's very nice oh my death goodness sequence. wow oh my god dramatic oh you get one line. oh my goodness okay <laughs> so you, you have to be over it yeah there we go so you have to be over it not in it yeah over it or it has to be encompassing it. Oh my goodness. There's a little countdown. I guess that's till the end of the level. The overlays filter the background. They're noticeable on this game without one. Okay. It, says it is weirdly stressful. <laughs> There's a lot going on. Yeah, you can kind of get a couple at the same time, can't you? You get more points if you get more oh, than one at, at okay. the same time. Uh, there are a couple of different enemy types. Terrible X, the basic enemy that closes in you rather slowly. The hidden X, visualized by a plus oh, sign. That was terrible. The X variant with a cloaking device. The closer this enemy is to the center, the more clearly it's visible. So there's a very faint one that yes. gets brighter and brighter. Yeah. Hunter, which is a triangle. This one tracks you down and closes on you quite fast. Uh, the Bomber, a octagon. This one never comes near you, but the longer it stays alive, the faster it fires deadly shots at you. Dragon, which is a triangle with two X's. The dragon spirals down on you. Two shots are needed to destroy this foe. Beware the accompanying small ships. Once the mother vessel is destroyed, they will immediately rush in to destroy you. Oof. Oof. You can see the faint ones. I don't like the faint ones. I'm too far away for faint. <laughs> oh, it's crazy swirling stars in the background. Never really it's, noticed it's that. It was so nice. Concentrating on the ships. Nostalgic says it's a pretty neat concept. Simple but different. Yeah, it's very simplistic, but. Uh oh. <laughs> Death. <laughs> my hand ow 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 <laughs> there are also some friendly objects wow which nonetheless can be destroyed stars these may spawn near your base every one to two seconds they spawn bonus points the longer a star survives the higher bonus points it's spawned so you don't want to get the stars you don't want to get the stars yep okay mystery if the mystery reaches your base you're awarded a special upgrade so a oh. star and a question mark you want them to star and question mark you don't, don't want to destroy the star okay that that's a good uh the upgrade may be a faster shield or a wider shield. Don't get that star. Oh, you got three stars now. Or two stars. It's very confusing now. <laughs> With them encircling you? Yeah. Three stars. Okay, we were making jokes about... Oh, see? The stars are more of a distraction. Um, That's beautiful death ending. About eye tests, but this is very good for that. Oh my goodness. My distance vision. <laughs> the clue to getting high scores are the little stars. A maximum three can be there at any time. Ah. They circle a player and easily destroyed by your shield as any other object. Each second they provide you with bonus score. The longer they live, the more bonus points you get. It starts with only four points per second, but can get up to the, into the hundreds, up to 999 points. I mean, the thing is to 
Wow, that's awesome. To not be too distracted by them, because the reality yeah. is you want to make sure nothing gets to you. So if you ki accidentally kill a star, it's like, it's whatever. Fine. Yeah. It's not going to destroy you. No. It's 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 funny, because, ah! Get all their... Oh, see, it was better when I was destroying the stars. I was at 3,000 and something, because I just oh, wasn't 3, trying to keep them. Oh, yeah. Oh. So it's almost better to not think about that. Yeah. It's like when there's too much in your in your area, it's harder to keep track of what's there. And then those faint ones come out of nowhere. Let me get rid of the background. Yeah. It's really nice. It's a, it's a nice, off. simple... Oh, yeah. It's, it's a nice, simple uh, game. It is. It's easy to learn, hard to master. Yeah. Yeah, you really have to be on top of them, too, for them to disintegrate. Right. Nostalgic. I wish it gave you three lives, though. Yeah. Maybe, but there's something so nice and simplistic about a one-life game. Yeah, where it's, it's like, just, don't mess up. No, you just, you get one shot, and your score is your score. You know, like, there's no, there's... Oh, very, that was a question mark. Damn it. It's okay. It's very unforgiving. Oh, see, you've already, you're already past 3,000. Hmm. Did that question mark get to you? Uh, no, it didn't. You've already destroyed my score. I don't know. You've barely been playing. I'm that good. <laughs> you're getting a lot at once. I think that's the key. You get a lot more score. Oh, oh, it's so hard when they start coming in for you like that. There's a question mark. Nice. Ooh. Oh, that little dragon. I have to get him twice. Do you? It's a dragon? Yeah. That? Oh, he gets rid of his tail at first. Or he, he fades a bit. Good job. My goodness. I try and buy oh, games that have an interesting premise or interesting controls. It's really neat. Or our shooters. <laughs> Cats are into no good. I can hear it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that dragon's coming for you! Oh my goodness, there's so much going on there. Damn it. That was getting really intense. <laughs> Five time piece, seven time piece. No, those, are, <laughs> those are eights. That's a, cause everything has to be drawn with points or lines. Mm -hmm. So it takes up extra energy mm -hmm. to do a nice eight. So it's like, nope, we're doing an eight with four lines. It's an hourglass. That's yep. what you're getting. So it has some options. Oh, okay. Music on off. Oh, the music's cool. Sound effects on, half. Hmm. What was it on? It was on half? I don't know. Let's do the sound effects on full. So, so you're just hearing the sound effects? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see how that is. Oops. It's, ah, it's coming right for me. Oh, it's a star. Oh, is that an extra life? You can see that uh, at the top. It gives you a bonus, maybe. See that thing at the top? Yeah. 20 seconds. Do you have extra... I don't know what that is. It's counting maybe that's, down. Maybe that's like a temporary shield. Mm, maybe. See, I swear last time you had a lot higher score. Like, very early on. So you must have done something last time. I think I got, like... Time-limited shield, maybe. Flesh marks and a bunch of stars, yeah, maybe, you got... that added up a lot. Oh, the dragons are back. Oh, oh, I didn't see that one. It was tiny. I love the death screen, by the way. Oh, I'm going to put the music back on. Cause the music is awesome. Nice. Yep. Star Wars explosion ending, double explosion out nice. into space. And I'll let you play once more. Oh, damn it! Here, me. Oh, you got rid oh, of the question sorry, mark. Oh, sorry, I always forget the question mark. I was trying to put the music back on, but I accidentally pressed the button. I think I like the music music on. Let me read about that shield, the question mark, because it wasn't really clear. Um, oh, faster shield or wider shield? 
Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. that is so awesome. That's huge. So is it multiple shields or is it like the whole screen? It's like the whole screen almost. Oh my God. Oh no, it's just on those lines. Yeah, it is, but the, it's wider. It is wider. Oh, I want this forever. It's so <laughs> awesome. Okay. Doesn't say what those mean. Um, scoring. The only one rule is do not die. Apart from that, strategies, bonus stars. Try to keep the stars alive. If if all three is too difficult, concentrate on keeping one alive. Every one to two seconds, a star rewards a point. Yeah. There are 33 different phases. I died. You didn't even see what hit me. Tiny little dots. Oh man. Sometimes. I'm gonna play one more. Ooh, four eight three. It's good for me. Nice. Or four eight three. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what was I gonna say? Hi. Hi, kittens. You hungies? Yeah? How do I get to Is the it time for another oh, one? There we go. Oh, get the music back on. There we go. Right, yep. This okay. is amazing. Oh, the Vectrex is so good. <laughs> Love this system. So much fun. Oh, it's a question mark right away. Yeah, get it. See, my shield is already, like, yeah. bigger. Temporarily. Pole is closed. Oh, well, looks like the ones win. Oh, I think I killed the question mark. Okay, watch out for the fainty, fainty star. What? There. Oh. They're coming for you. Oh no! Oh, that's okay. Yeah. You, 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 staying Gotta alive is more important. <laughs> yep. Always protect yourself over bonus items. Mm -hmm. That applies for every game. Oh, I killed it. That's okay. Oh, oh my god, that was not a good game. One more! <laughs> it's a little bright. Uh, did we kick it? Possibly. Possibly a cat did. Oh, why? Oh, the brightness won't be affected by a cat. Uh. Just overlays weren't showing up when... Uh... Kitten! Don't kitten! The cat! Okay, no. Mind? I think I don't think you can hang out there. <laughs> no. I think that's gonna be a problem. That's what Sprite was doing before the show oh, was on. Really? I was like, oh, this is gonna be a problem. He was pushing it around? Yep. He was oh. like, Rub, Rub, <laughs> Rub. He's he's a cute cat though. It's hard to be mad at him. Oh. Even if he's ruining your stream. <laughs> yeah. Ha 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 kitty. Yeah. They exist as agents of chaos. <laughs> yes, they do. That's that's what cats are. <gasps> oh. oh. I thought that was a question mark. At oh, first. I know it's. Wow. Z Z O Z. Z Z O Z. I don't even know what Z is. Two, two. Oh, that's a question mark. Dragons are very dragon. slow. Yeah, they're which not. Which is fine. I mean, maybe they get faster as it goes on, but they're not too bad right now. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, those dots. Those dots are hard to see. Yeah, they are really hard to see. Because they look like background. Oh, they do. They blend in yeah. quite well. Oh, another question mark. Question marks are really wonderful. What? Oh, Yark and Evitz, I need to send you my overlays, especially for this one. Oh. Oh, there's one for release. Didn't know that. Oh. It Very makes cool. release Thank a you. bonafide psychedelic sensation. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. Is this your game? Yark Nevitz? 
Or do you just make overlays for games? <laughs> for games. <laughs> I bet it's psychedelic. No, I just make overlays. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, yeah, that that's cool. That would be cool. amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, uh, just, that would be very cool. Uh, just email me. Um, James at zeropagehomebrew.com. Oh, I missed it. Ah, uh, Tim of Legend says, I was going to recommend Stephen Cray's tie-dye overlay for this. Hi, Stephen. There's so, <laughs> there's some crazy, Tie -dye. crazy overlays nice. um, that you can actually plug in. There's UV mm. overlays mm. and um, um, blacklight overlays. Oh my God, that sounds awesome. Oh my God. They're super cool. And they can plug into like the second port for power. Oh, uh, really? Fun. Yeah. With like a little UV light on the over. Oh my god! And the that sounds overlays, so cool. <laughs> uh, react to the light. Um, wow. The the light is permanent, like on your system. Okay. But the over then there's overlays that react to that light. Oh, I get ya. I'm, it's like, Steven. Thank you. Like, Thank you. That's very cool. Thank you so much. We do need some overlays. Because I have a lot of homebrew, so there will be more streams of this. Mm. Especially since everybody is really enjoying. Uh, watching this, I'm, it gives me an excuse to play the games too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my god, there's tons of little dudes coming up from that. Ah, uh, I'm gonna die. I have to clear it out. You're murdering the score. Definitely, these levels where they're just all coming at you is what you have to master to get a high score. Uh, oh, 17, uh, 6, 7, 3. Wow. wow. Good one to end that game yeah. on. Yeah. Imagine this as a music visualizer. It oh, feels yeah. like a music visualizer. It already is. Yeah. That's mm. intense game. That is unbelievable. Mm. Um, yeah. Highly, all of them, highly recommended. Yeah. Um, so the next one we're going to be playing is Vector Patrol by Christoph Tutz uh, from 2018. Oh, I might as well put my name in because it... Oh my god, I got on the board. Exceptional <laughs> score, yeah. That's good I didn't press the button. I tried over first. Because that would have been Zed <laughs> random random. Good Ooh. timing. Party time for I didn't even know the, where the black cat was. Party time? Cats, 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 cats. Delayed sound. Is it? Say it in a second. Woohoo! Party time for kittens. Cats, 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 cats. Cats, 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 cats. You guys ready? Are you ready for some parties? Wait, wait, we have to get the cats on the screen. There we go. Perfect time. Can you see them? Can you move those down a little? Because they're blocked by the vectrex, actually. These? Yeah. There. Is that better? Yep. Much better. Yeah. Okay. Thank you to Nostalgic26 for getting the cats high. Here we go. It's catnip, and we, we just got a big bin of catnip. Yeah, we did. <laughs> for their Christmas present. Kitty uppers. And it says on it... No, no, you're distracting them. Sorry. Um, cats don't react to catnip until about six to eight months. And when we first got... Sprite, he didn't care about catnip. No. We were like, that's weird. Maybe he just doesn't care about it. But yeah. then he like got into it yeah. at, at about <laughs> seven months. He's about, something. what, nine months now? So now he kind of enjoys it. And they'll, they'll get a little high and roll around <laughs> on the floor. So, yeah. Makes him happy. Ah, oh, that's such a simple but awesome game. Yeah. Uh, and especially now that I got into the higher levels. Oh, yeah. It's uh, super cool. Yeah, I, I am using the video uh, Vectrex Audio Tap. I installed it uh, last night, <laughs> just in time for the show. Um, that's why you're hearing the audio clear. I'll have to hear it afterwards. But mm -hmm. I did some tests, and it sounded pretty good during my tests before the show. It is a fantastic product. So if you've got a Vectrex that you and and this one is completely reversible, mm. like it doesn't. I interfere at it all. It doesn't injure anything. Oh, here goes the gray cat. So, there you go. Oh, can't really see it. But I yeah. showed it off at the top of the stream. Uh, Vectrex Audio Tap. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
has finally run out of batteries. No. Oh. oh, it's showing something else that has no video. Uh, what was it? Vector Patrol, which is Moon Patrol. Here we go. Vector Patrol. The cat's all roly poly yeah, now. He's oh, he's okay. covered in it now. He's you just rolling can, around. You guys can go in the small. small yeah. <laughs> There's Vector Patrol. Very nice. The overlay is in the back, so mm -hmm. I'll get that out. Some instructions. By Tutstronics 2016. I have cart number 957. Very nice. So there's a big audience for Backtracks games. Quite wow. a big audience. It's it's yeah. a pretty robust uh, homebrew scene um, with really high quality games. Oh, roly poly cats. There I mean, go. I do think Atari reacts more to the catnip than oh, he does. Sprite does. I'm going to give him some time. There's Very the nice. overlay. There's the cartridge. Yep. So let's. We all know how to play Moon Patrol, <laughs> so probably won't need the instructions. What a mess. Yeah, I put too much down, maybe. Oh, I only put a little bit in, in both. Just, I only put a little bit, but they just spread they just, it all over. They just eat a tiny bit, and then they move on. Oh, It's well, way... This is a... Atari spy. will eat it. He will, eventually. Well, that's why we have vacuums. Yeah. Okay, Vector Patrol. Oh, yeah. what a happy Atari cat, though. So happy. He is so happy. Who, uh, thank you, Nostalgic. <laughs> yeah, the cats are very happy. Aww. Are you not going to have more, Sprite? Sprite was, I think, more interested in uh, treats, but uh, are you not going to have more? So mm -hmm. let's get this so we can kind of see the overlay. You will see reflections. If I had a polarizer on this, mm. it would get rid of that reflection. Oh, yes. But it might also alter Affect some things. The, the, how I'm it not looks. sure how a polarizer would work on a television. When the cats are happy, we're all happy. It's so true. Very nice. of a reflection. A uh, touch. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. Just watching the audio. Mm. I think the last game was quite loud, so. There we go. That's a little bit louder for you guys. Okay, Vector Patrol. Oh, I didn't even see the screen, the parallax. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No, it's fine. I'll see it in a second. Beginner's course. So there's shoot and there's jump. There you go. You got the whole game. And, and jump over forward. the pits. Yeah, you have to move forward and go faster to go over some of the pits. Ah, uh, it's going to take me a second. <laughs> so it's got the course details at the top, how far along you are. Well, it's even got some radar at the top. Oh, battery exhausted. Time to change out. Oh, the no. Batteries. Please hold. Yeah, I don't have two power adapters for these Sony cameras. They're very expensive, unfortunately. It's oh, very you can't rare that uh, I need two of them. Should be back in two seconds here. There we go. There we go. All better. It's probably even more in focus than before. Perfect. It's a little flashy. Did it alter some other settings? Let's see if I can get that better. Yeah. Two. Yay, level one! Because <laughs> it's, it's kind of a trade-off between frame rate 
and flashiness. That one's pretty good, actually. I found 50, 1 50th of a, a second for exposure time to be really good. Yeah, really good details in the background for oh, the mountains. God. Okay. And the, and the, uh, <laughs> the city in the background and the blinking stars. It does look really cool. It's amazing uh, how much. Oh my God. <laughs> not watching. It's too many, too much at once. Okay, my turn. <laughs> I've never played Moon Patrol before. So. Oh, that would be why. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's uh, you have to do the jump and the shoot at the same from time. The beginning. Yeah, do it cancel. from the beginning. Okay, there we go. Oh, this level two. This is French. Oh, look at that line graphics going up. Vector Patrol. Oh yeah. Wow. That is really good. Wow. Uh, start. Hmm. All the games have looked great. Mm -hmm. They they have like. Okay, so that's jump. Pause. Oh, watch okay. out for the cra crater makers. Their bombs create pits when they land. Yes. The song is walking is <laughs> walking <laughs> on the moon by the police. Is it what? <laughs> Was it? Not the in-game song. Must have been a uh, um, on the menu. Oh my oh, god! You can't. I'm pressing the wrong buttons. <laughs> I know it takes I'm a pressing second. Pressing the wrong buttons. It takes a second for the brain to adjust. So yeah, I'm not super awesome at Moon Patrol, but I'm not this terrible. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to play Moon Patrol on my C64. Mm. Oof, that was very close. Oh my god, this must be on arcade mode or something. Or I just need more practice. There we go. <laughs> Chirping bird. We are definitely going to do another backtrack tonight. Atari oh, yeah. 100 XL rules. Now that I know how to set it up and yeah. that it, it actually looks pretty decent. Yeah. Um, it's easy enough. And I've got the mods installed now. I've got the buzz off and the audio tap. I wonder if we can put like a little LED light on it so that the uh, overlay is a little brighter on the screen. Um, like the words, like vector patrol and that kind of right. thing. Ooh, that wasn't fast it would be that. it would be something to test, I think, for next round. Right. Because the yeah. It is in the dark. It is in it, it it is in the dark, so like a little light might make it look a little brighter. And a... Um, we'll have to try that. And a... Um, what was I saying? The... Um, a polarizer. For the camera. Yes. For one of the lenses. Yeah, so that it's not reflecting off the glass. Yeah. Oof, 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 oof. Yep. Oh my god, there's so many bombs on the screen! Mm -hmm. Nostalgia says, I played the heck out of Moon Patrol in my 2600. Yeah. So did I. 2600 and... Um, uh, C64. Mostly C64. Uh, oh, I thought I could shoot that one. This is hard. <laughs> this is a hard mode. It is not easy. You might want to put it into easy mode for your next Was game. this normal? Like arcade mode? or? I think it's just like arcade mode. I didn't mm. check the options before we started. I just hit start, so I didn't really adjust it. Yeah, bombs seem to be coming down fast. Oh, yeah. You can hop up. Oh, what? I shot it like twice. Speed up, speed up. To go over the pits, you have to kind of... You can jump over those. Mm. Oh, there's two there! That's why! Mm -hmm. So you can jump over that one. Mm. Not that one. Mm. Mm. There are great Moon Patrol homebrews for the 5200 and ColecoVision. Ah! Is the 5200 like the... Um, oh my god. The 5200 one is a, um, mm. saw that one coming. Was, it was released during the run of 5200? So I probably have it then on cartridge. I'm guessing it would be. That, yeah. that oh. Spiceware is asking, would it help you to see the game better if you send the camera output to your big screen or would that be add too much lag? I would say yes. It would be too much lag, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. Um, and S. Ramirez says, I love the backgrounds in this version. It is beautiful. Oh, look at that. Let this tomb look play a bit. That. 
It is walking on the moon. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a local punk band that does a cover of Walking on the Moon. Like oh, a yeah. up one. Oh, yeah. Darkest of the Hills, I think. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It's so good. Yeah. Oh, my God, it's so good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is it's not translating well. You mean the flashing? Yeah. Yeah, I was noticing that too. It's not quite as continuous as what we're seeing. So, is it is it the frame rate? Yeah. See, if I put it at really low frame rate, everything is on the screen, but things get streaky, mm. kind of slow. If I put it up, it's it gets flashing. Oh. Oh yeah. You have to we find can go it. forty. Forty. That's probably pretty good. I think it's all dependent. Ivory oh, Tower says go. I found that 24 frames works best, works well. Oh, okay. We can try that. Oh, you've got it off the screen. How funny is that? It's still kind of flashy. Um. Nah, uh, it doesn't. It's not terrible. Yeah, we'll stick with that for a while. Okay. Let's go to the game options now. Difficulty. It's on normal. Not easy. Yeah, so let's do easy. I'll give it to you yeah, again. Thank you. So we're now on 40 frames, 24 frames a second. I was on 60 frames a second, which probably has, probably better on 24, that's true. But I was doing 60 to get a, because it's not, like the Vectrex isn't really frames. Mm. It's just like kind of persistence. You have to kind of go a little bit faster. No, well, you made it over. I, I don't. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Push pushing the wrong button. Faster. No, but it wasn't. That's weird. Maybe because I'm, I was too far forward. Oh, maybe. It's cool. It's there got we go. a now spot it's... for the the buggy that's all in orange. Like it's an orange strip. Yeah. So your buggy's always orange. That looks pretty good now. I'm not super happy with how low the frame rate looks. Boo. Nah, nah, I'm switching back. It really hasn't made a much of a huge improvement. Oh, too soon. <laughs> ah! Right into me. My goodness. Death but in general, so it does quickly. look good. Moon Patrol Redux 5200 Edition. Oh, I'll have to check that out. I'm doing Thank worse on easy than I did on, on, <laughs> on regular. Oh, no. You're thinking too much now. I think so. Beginner's luck. It always happens in video games. Oh, a lot. Where you're like, I don't know what I'm doing. Shoot, shoot, shoot. And you just happen to do fine. But then yeah. when you think about it too much, like, okay, it's I've got so... to avoid, avoid I'm... that. And... I'm getting hit by the, the shots coming down on me. That was terrible. No, I made it to level <laughs> two last time. I can do that again. The... I didn't make made it to level two on normal mode. Hmm. The horizontal repositioning of the buggy in this, I find is fairly sluggish. It's like so slow. The horizontal movement. Oh my goodness, it's so slow. Like to speed up and slow down. Wow, Vectrix Homebrew is the second biggest homebrew community around. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that. Yeah, 2600, definitely number one. Yeah. Or no, uh, you think so? Yeah, yeah, More so 100%. than like NES homebrew? Oh my god, yes. Really? So much. Any. Mm. Because it gets more and more complex as you get bigger and bigger systems. That's true. It's harder so for people to make it, too, so it right? it takes longer. Yeah, true. Um, no bonus, boo. <laughs> <laughs> Probably have to not die. <laughs> Probably, In level yeah. one, you know, to get the bonus. Um, when you think about modern games and how big of a team there is to, to make 
a modern game. It's like mm. hundreds of people. <gasps> yeah. And like, and more, hacks, more hacks. Than yeah, homebrews. more hacks than homebrews. That's so true. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not used to it's this It's those um, spinny triangle guys. That oh, I know. I, w I was trying to kill it. <laughs> Atari but. Basic makes a difference in the number of deaths, too. Yeah, it's always the tools, the developer tools. Ah! <laughs> I can't slow down enough to, to nope. dodge the bullet. It's terrible. You really can't you avoid have it. To, you have to kill them. Yep. And I'm not very good at killing them. Oh, my goodness. Dodged it, but fell in the pit. I know. I Just smacking the button. There you My go. My turn. You can get further. Show Minus. off more. I've got a little black cat next I'll to me. I'll continue. I'll continue. I've got, look, look. A oh, black cat. so cute. He's very supportive of my terrible Vectrex thing. Oh, he's a very supportive cat, no matter what. He is. What. He's very loving and supportive. And he also likes some um, catnip and treats, so. <laughs> he does. Mm -hmm. Oof. Jump over that one. Jump. Oh, I pressed oh, it. Oh, right in. Too late. Right Too into late. the crater. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I shot uh, instead Batari of Atari Basic makes a difference in the number of devs, too. I can I can see that. Yeah. Yeah. Homebrew on Vectrix are all reasonably priced if they are still in production. They are. They're, they're, they can be very inexpensive. They can be expensive, too, yeah. because of overlays. That's another cost, mm. right? Foot. I'm guessing that's a Vectrix emulator. Nope. Oh, no, no. This is a it's camera weird. pointed at a Vectrix. Camera at a Vectrix, yeah. yeah. It's when they are out of print. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, then they get into the hundreds yeah. when they're out of print, but I've never bought an out of print one. Not worth it. Oh, God, I hate these guys. Yeah, you have to shoot their shots, or be yeah, just nowhere you'll, near you'll them. Yeah, because you'll get hit, yeah. No, no, no way too early. too early. Damn it. I want to see if there's a hill part. We're going to keep continuing. <laughs> oh. Nah, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. It's not a, the greatest score. Yeah, I want to see the background change again. Yeah. <laughs> Oh god, two mm -hmm. in a row, two two on top of each other is die again! The little explosion looks like the mm -hmm. Beavis and Butthead logo. Mm -hmm. Where it's all jaggedy and outlined. Slow down! Oh, you have to time your shots. There's one. Because your shots only go so Oh, oh god. no. Mmm. Does ZPH have a VEC fever? No. What's, missed, a VEC, what's a VEC fever? I just missed out on VEC fever. Oh. Um, and then I was on an order list, which they never made any more of them. Oh, no. What, so what was a VEC fever? It's it's um, mostly a development tool, gotcha. but also it had a, a co-processor in oh, it. Oh, multi-cart, someone was saying. Yeah. It's a, it's a multi-cart as well. Yeah, I do have a Pytrex. Yes, mm. I do. Um, I didn't... Um, hardly any Vec Fevers exist. Like, it's very low numbers. Mm. So it's almost pointless <laughs> to develop it for it because there's so few people who have it. That's what? Oh, no, the mines! I couldn't see them. <laughs> oh, what? Um, but I do have a, a Pytrex, which is like... It's equivalent oh, to like the plus cart or okay. the harmony cart. Gotcha. It's got an arm processor in it that does heavy lifting. Okay. And also there's ways to convert, not even convert, play exact um, arcade games. Like people have ported Star Wars, oh, the arcade machine, wow. to the Vectrex. Okay, that's cool. And like asteroids, oh, this is going oh, to be really hard for timing. The Pytrex has great potential, yes, mm -hmm. it does. Which is why I snapped it up immediately. Oh, this is gonna be so hard. Ah, I pressed you have it! To jump immediately. I'm gonna go medium speed. Arena Foot. Still have my childhood Vectrix carts, manuals, overlays, and boxes. Wow. Wow. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. This is I'm not gonna pass this. Yeah, I'll go slow. That's true. Yeah. 
Yep, slow speed is good. Ooh, two on top of each other. Wow. It's random. I love the mountains in the background. Really good parallax. Oh yeah, change to mountains instead of city now. Is this on the moon or is this in Walking Colorado? I don't moon. know. <laughs> A buggy in Colorado. Yeah. Could be. Could be doing uh, space testing, moon <gasps> testing. Arena Foot unit got stolen in 91. Oh, Bought another in 98 no. off eBay. One of my eBay purchases. Wow. Yeah, that got, sucks. Probably got an okay deal in 90. But at least you still have your, your games and manuals yes. and all that. Yeah. Oh, that's... Idiots. Yeah, they I mean, probably thought it was like a, a small TV oh, or something. Oh, yeah. Who knows? Didn't even know. People. Ah. <sighs> Savages, says Carl G. Exactly. Exactly. <sighs> terrible, terrible people. And you know they got like they probably got twenty bucks it. exactly. And it's like it's, just it, it was sitting I, at a at a pawn shop somewhere. Ugh. Yeah. Ugh. And you're Ugh. like, please don't steal it. I'll, I'll, <laughs> yeah. I'll give you the twenty yeah, bucks. Exactly. <laughs> oh. Uh, not a good time. No bonus. I didn't mm. make the time. One of my first slow. eBay purchases, ninety eight, would be fairly early, I think, for eBay. So. Yeah, I wonder what my first. They're probably records I bought on eBay with some records? of my yeah. first purchases. I think I joined eBay in like. Oh my god, he's kamikazeing! Oh, the hill! This is what I was oh, hoping to see. Quest for tires. Yeah. Oh boy. I think I have to shoot these. Ooh, some of them. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Let's continue on the hill. <laughs> No, nope, just keep going. Nice. Uh, oh, I pressed too it. Too early. I you're too excited, it. and you're I like, was. jump, jump now. Jump now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah, jump the, the smaller small ones. ones. Oh, rough. That's I think I rough. shot that first one twice accidentally. I do like this, like that. This game has continued, though. So, uh, yeah. You, you don't have to start from the beginning, which is really good. It's not fast enough. There's a port of Akalabeth, the predecessor to Ultima for the Vectrex. It uses a special Vectrex 32 cartridge. Wow. Yeah, I did see that one. I am not a huge fan of first person uh, tile based third 3D movement. You know those where you s you're seeing a head and then you move and it just goes chunk, chunk, and it's oh, all yeah. underground? It's, I don't. I'm not great with maze games. Yeah. And that's like a first person maze game and it's so hard. Mm. I don't I, I don't lost. dislike those. But they are challenging. They are. Yeah. And, and I did play Ultima uh one has that. Okay. I was, I was not a fan. Okay, we're on to our second to last game. I am gonna include the bonus game because we're having lots of fun. Yeah. And the bonus it's game is a two player game. Yeah. <laughs> I'll more vectrix. It it's like more cowbell. More cowbell. <laughs> I do have the Jason Cop Super Vectrex multi cart. I don't know who makes these multi carts, but I do have a few? two of them. Mm. The original and the M1. Mm. Uh, I'm not sure if that's Jason Cops. More, more, more. <laughs> more, more, more. Yes, we have more. Yes. That was a good game. Once we got into it and understood the movement a bit mm. better, uh, it made it a lot easier. There was a bit of a, a learning curve with the, the movement of... Night D-Train, thanks for joining. Night D-Train. Yeah. So the next one, uh, second to last on our list, is Spidex. Here it is. It is a handwritten label. <laughs> this is number 65. As you can see, Spidex. No overlay, no instructions, I don't think, or they're missing. So let's switch back to the Vectrex. Oh, Richard Hutch Hutchins. Now, handwritten, now that's homebrew. <laughs> no. 2019. A floppy disk with no writing on it, that's homebrew. That's homebrew. <laughs> You're gonna have to start this over if you don't start shooting. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Four. Ah, there you go. Ah, what am I doing? Shoot and then eat. Eat? You're a spider. Turn this back down again. I haven't managed to shoot anything yet. Hold on. 
Shouldn't that big one be easy to... Oh, that one you can't kill. Oh. That one just gets in your way. Oh. Eat it. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> oh, I have no shots anymore. Oh, what's going on? Oh. Really? What's going on? You have to move, move in a direction and shoot. Oh, I see. Eat it. Yum, no, yum, no. yum. What about this guy? The moth? Maybe you can get him. I don't know. So I remember I just played this briefly when I was testing. Maybe you have to hit him a bunch? Maybe. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Okay. Now this too dark is now. What? Too dark. Uh, okay, I'll brighten it up a little bit. I don't think it's too dark. Ah! I'm assuming you can't hit them. I guess it's okay, though. <laughs> Can I... Oh. Oh, at 10%. I think I'm gonna... Ah! Ah! Whatever that is, it can be good. Ah! 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 Oh, the line? You just can't pass through it. No, this oh, guy that? that's yeah, going after, after me. <gasps> It's like Tempest, but bugs. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I think I have some notes on this one. Uh, Spidex is a fast-paced shooter game featuring a spider on a web. Every now and then, insects get caught on the web. However, do not believe these insects uh, ah! is an easy meal. The spider has to hit each insect with additional web ah! before they can be eaten. Ah! Some, some even <laughs> attack back. I don't like the ones that attack back. There. He's a he's he's a higher level predator. Insects shouldn't be hitting him back. Run! I, I I'm trying to hit him, but you do have to move. Oh god. Uh, there is a Terrible. dual joystick um, version of this game. Oh, not a version, but dual sto joystick controls. But I need um, some adapters so I can hook up like my um, Ed Ladin dual dual stick. But I'll buy that for next time. Do, 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 do. More range movement than Tempest, yeah. I mean, I think somebody somebody saw this and, and went, oh, I can make it into a spider. But there is a game. Um, uh, it was mentioned before the show started. Tim of Legend talked about it. Um, oh, God. Black Widow, I think. <sighs> this is like a, a, a homage oh to Black God. Widow. This guy is relentless. Yeah, oh, my moving. God. There you go, Tim. Tim said it again. Tim yeah, of Legend. Black uh, Black Widow, yes. And he said that you can... It's one of those games, it's a it's a vector game that you can put on the system. Oh, that one shoots back. And... Oh. Take more shots? Well, maybe you can't kill that guy. On? Go after the other one. No, this guy goes after me. Ah! Ah! <laughs> like with oh, the pie tracks. Oh, you just have to shoot them all. Oh, so with the pie tracks or the uh, Vec Fever, you can... What is this? Oh, bonus. Anyway, that doesn't look good. Oh, it hatched a... Baddie. Bad guy. Maybe you had to eat it before you hatched. You have to move know. in a direction and shoot, right? Not yeah. just stand still, right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so you can get him caught on that... Uh... Oh my god, sort of. Yeah, dual joystick control would probably be better. One for moving, one for shooting. Oh Level 16. Um, there are many different types of creatures, <clears throat> but be careful. Ah. Need water. These feel like horse flies or something. I'm not sure. <clears throat> oh, something hit me. <clears throat> oh, no. Game over. 21. The arcade coin op is a twin stick. Oh, ah, okay. There you go. Fun. Keep reading. What? Where did you get to? Around there somewhere. On many levels, blocking walls appear where the spider can move inwards towards the, spy the web center. The other creatures can only move outside towards the web edges. And some flying creatures are not affected at all. You can hold down the button and a, and a direction. Oh, really? Oh, that's much nicer. See? <laughs> oh, good night, Tim of Legend! Good night, Tim of Legend! Thank Thanks. you for joining! Thank you for joining and yeah. uh, adding some info. Yes. Very, very nice and helpful. Very enjoyable. 
the game supports one spider or two joysticks drive. with dual joysticks. One of the joysticks controls the movement of the spider while the other joystick controls the shooting direction. Yeah. I ah, need some adapters when using a single joystick, holding button four will toggle between movement and shooting. Yum, 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 yum. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Like, something exploded. Sometimes, yeah, uh, there's something that will blow up the walls. I don't know oh, what those are, but they will okay. blow up the walls. It killed me twice, and I'm like, what just happened? I didn't even see the thing. It's that. Yeah. Oh, okay, so when I kill it, stand back. Well, it's kind of nice that it blows up the walls. Oh, so kind of? Hold oh, it. my God. Yeah, I'm, like, familiar with lots of different styles of gameplay, mm. so I always try, like, okay, double hit the button, hold down the button, but move oh, no. and hit the button. Arena oh. Foot says Spidex, Nitex, and Minex, oh, all by the same over. programmer. Uh, okay. It's the, the X, uh... X series? X series. <laughs> what do you want to, what do I want to say? Vectrex X series? The Vectrex, <laughs> um, X universe. There X you go. universe, yeah. yes. I mean, it makes it easy to identify which games are by a person if they have a, a naming scheme. Mm -hmm. Yum, 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 yeah. There, I think I got it. Oh, oh these guys blow up the walls. So it's actually good. Oh, he did then, Oh, no, he turns into uh, that horrible spider thing. Or beetle. I'm going to call it a beetle. It, it looks a like beetle. a beetle. Can you kill it? Nope. <laughs> Not easily, anyway. No, I think you just have to dodge it. I'll go around here. There, you can't get through that. Flying things can. He can sometimes. Can he? Yeah, I swear. Yum yum. Yum yum. Oh, he, they they dive bomb for it. It's not, you don't even shoot them. No. I don't think you can get rid of them. They don't last forever. Is there even score on this? Yep. 22. <laughs> Just doesn't show it. 22 is at the top. No, that's my level. Is it? Oh, no, it's oh, the number. Is... It's, it's oh, okay. the number of bugs you eat. I thought nom, it was nom, level. Nom. Very low scoring game. I'm usually I'm used nom, to scores bugs. like in, it goes up by hundreds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like one. oh, you're at seventeen thousand. <laughs> no, you just get one for each. It looks like so. Oh, oh, oh my God, they're coming out! Of... Ah! I hate those guys. Ugh. Oh, he has free roam up the whole place. Yeah, you just gotta keep dodging. Oh my God! Oh no! Ah! Shove a little bit. Ah! Ah! <laughs> no! Did you get Nitex? Nitex. I don't think so. What is that a... What is kind of game is that? Because I went through all the games I have. I mean, I could put on a multi-card if it's available. Oh, God. Yeah, oh they're both shooting. That guy. Yeah, they're both shooting now. Huh? Oh, oh, I got <gasps> trapped in my oh, own web. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm trapped in the center. Oh, this is not... Good. It's like, no, you've got to finish. <laughs> oh, that is not easy. Joust. Oh. Nitex is a part oh, of Joust. I looked at that Joust today, actually. Oh, mm. Dragonfly. It seems very fast. Mm. Like, like everything's very manic. So I'm not sure if I'd get that. I think I have to watch some more videos to mm. see if I would enjoy that. Because I don't mind Joust. I know you're not a huge fan of Joust. Oh, no, I like Joust. Do you? Yeah, oh, yeah. okay. I'm more used to it now. Okay. I've played it a lot more, so... It is hard as hell, says <laughs> Yark. Is it fast? Nevets. It looks really fast. Mmm. Like, like, uncontrollably fast. <laughs> like, the eggs just bounce around the screen like crazy. Mm. Oh, my God. Beetle! You stay over there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mo, what's up? Thank you for... Oh, my God. The things explode. Dying very stupid deaths. Yeah, you stay over there, Beetle. Mm, I'm not going to get you. Cause now I'll get them. If I can't... Uh, 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 yum, yum. <laughs> Eat them now. Yum, 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 yum. Great shooter game here. Ooh. I think that thing is a tick. Yeah. Uh, me? No, I'm a no. spider. The no. thing that explodes? Uh, the thing that or chases after them. you, maybe? I don't know. There are ticks that attack uh, spiders, so... Ooh, really? Oh, yeah. Tiny ticks, then. Probably. Ticks are... How is that fair? He... He... Teleported right on top of me and killed me instantly. Oh, my God. That... Oh, that was my fault. Mm. That was stupid. Oh, oh reset. Do you want to play again? No. Okay, no. I'm gonna 
You're, you're getting much I'll further than one I more. am. So. I have to die. I died. Oh, dead. I died stupid deaths when I started. There you go. Okay. Let's try it again. See if I can make it to the dragonfly again. Okay. The dragonfly was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. I oh, saw it flying for like one Arena second. Foot started a Vectrex homebrew checklist book some oh, time ago, yes, but never right. finished it. Well, there's, there's, I'm sure there's a quite a bit of Vectrex homebrew. Oh, there, there is. There's a lot. Ah, ah, stay away from them. And I wonder if you can shoot that whole thing. Ah, ah. No, that looks like a beetle to me. He does. The He's the spider looks a bit like a, a tick, but. Yes, the spider looks more like a tick than, uh... Ah, he read... He, did, he, did he just go through my spider web for that uh, blockage? DJ Mips, what's the list of games you played tonight? Ooh, uh... uh Vector Blade was the first Vector one. Vector Blade, uh, Vector Patrol. Yes. Which is Moon Patrol. Um... I got here late. <laughs> um... We played this one. Uh, uh release? Spidex. Oh, yes, Spidex, release. Spidex, release. And, uh, uh, there's one, one more, more, right? Yep. Oh, uh, Vector Pilot. Vector Pilot, yeah. Damn it. All very good. Yeah. I mean, I hand selected them out of lots of <laughs> homebrews, yeah. so I knew they were good. Oh, Arena Foot, my favorite console, then the 2600, <clears throat> if you can believe that. Blasphemy. <laughs> Blasphemy. <laughs> <laughs> the truth comes out. Uh, no, it's an awesome console. It it there is nothing like it. Nothing like it. It's my like second it. favorite. Yeah, after the twenty six hundred. Yeah. yeah, it's just too much love for twenty six hundred yeah. games. Oh, that's fair. Oh God! Oh my God! Okay. Oh no, this thing. Oh, is it better? Yes, this is actually good. Cause he's inside. Oh, how did he get outside? Oh, oh, he can go through it. It's you just can a go struggle. through it. Oh, I need to get this guy. Oh, oh no! One life left. Oh, you just gotta find an angle where he can't really get you well. Oh, he's like he can shoot everywhere. So, oh my god, there's flies They're still coming. Oh my god! Yay! Is, is it the Woo. dragonfly level? Wave four done. Oh god, this is like boss time. It feels bossy, doesn't it? Yeah. At least he doesn't have a a weapon. It's just really erratic. Oh yeah, get some good shots in. Woo. Yes. I want to get it? Ah! 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 Give it to me! No! Oh boy. That's not gonna help. Ah. Oof. Oh, you're doing wet very well. Ah! Oh, game over. 62! Yep. Oh, do I get to put in a score? Nice. Probably not. And the Space Invaders port? No, that was. Uh, we were gonna do that. Um, Vector Blade. Uh, Vectrexians? Vectrexians. G Galaxian. It yeah. was, it was, yeah. We didn't do a Space Invaders port. No. I don't think there's any options for this game. It's just start. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> simple, simple, simple label. Really fun game. Okay, now for the bonus game, um, which is on the multi-cart. Um, can't even remember the name of it because I didn't write it down. I added it at the very last second, so it wasn't even on my list. Okay, let's pop this in. Working? Yep. Make sure I have the right volume. Oh yeah, this is two player. <laughs> so let's use the Genesis and I'll give that to you. Okay, two player game. Hold on to that. Sure. And we'll use the VEC, VEC adapter. Okay. To plug into the second player's port. This black cat is so, <laughs> so like zoned out. I don't know if it was the catnip, but he is just, he's a flat cat on the floor right now. Oh. Poor little guy. You can see him in the screen. On oh. the side screen there. He's just like straight down. Like a rug. He is like it's a little a bear rug. rug. Yeah. Sorry. Go. 
So this is the multi cart nice. by Richard Hutchins. Very nice. Pretty fancy uh, menu. It is. <laughs> for a, mu a multi cart. It looks really good, actually. Wow. Let's straighten out these things. Okay. It was Crossfire. Nice. Oh, that's not quite loud enough for us. Three for options. So we want to to have two player digital controls because you have a digital controller. Mm. We'll play to ten. Puck, medium, sure. Portals on, yep. Yeah. Warp puck, sure. Goal, medium, sure. Okay. Nice. Chris's game. Binary star. Ah, okay. Thank you. C. Malcolm. Okay, ready? Mm hmm. I don't know what we're playing. Okay, you? we. So I'm the bottom. Okay. You're at the top. That's the puck. Now aim away from it. Aim away from it and Where then press I the aim? button. Which button? That, bu that button. And we try and score on the goal, and the goal is behind us. Ready? And you're ready, I guess. <laughs> ah! One point for you. There's warps on the side that'll warp it to the other side. Oh my god, kicking my ass. This is based on a um, oh, no. a board game or a, oh, like a game. Oh, really? Crossfire. I think it was. Uh... Oh my god! No, get out of my! I can't even shoot it. No, that was so unfair. <laughs> oh, oh, through the warp. Through the wall. Is there a warp there? Yeah. You can see it, it's a little bit... Nice. Oh my God, I think you shot yourself. I think so. Oh, oh so close. Get in oh, there. Yes. No. Yeah, I wanted to end on a two-player game. Because... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Milton Bradley, yes. Uh, it was on Angry Video Game Nerd. They, oh, they was featured it? at Crossfire, yeah. Because they did a board game series. Get in there. Ooh. No, you go back. So you have all the, like, it's a, this is the board game. Or the game. I don't know what you'd call it. Like, it's not really a board game. It's like an action board game. <laughs> but yeah, you have, you know, like Hungry Angry Hippo has marbles. It has marbles. Oh, Hungry Angry Hippo. press the button to, to fire the marbles and they go back down and there's a little puck. I don't remember the song because I was not aware of this growing up. I would have definitely wanted this game if I... Why am I having trouble shooting? Like, do you have a continuous stream or are you, you... I'm pressing it. I have to press it. Okay. But I feel like I shoot a few and then it, it, it re -groups. I think there is a limit. There is like a you're, limit. You're like shooting ten and then you have to okay. wait for them to refuel. Fair enough. I think you have like Oh, I think auto fire is on for you. That's why. Do you want me to switch it? No, no, it's fine. Okay. I'm, I'm getting used to it, but I just... That's why you're shooting so many in a row. Probably it's like you... a bunch in a row, and then all of a sudden I can't shoot anything. Yes. Yeah. I'm sure the parents would appreciate all the noise the game would make. Yes. Oh, yeah! Oh, man! Rebound! That that was brutal. Oh, we're playing to 10? What's the score? Where's the score? The score went away. Did it? Or maybe if, only after you score. Must be very close. Yep. Player two wins. I'm going to take off auto fire for you. Uh, no, 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 no. Keep it on. Okay. It's going well for me. Let's check out the options again. <laughs> uh, he only wants to change it because he, he lost. So. Warp the puck. Warp everything? Oh, you can warp your bullets now. Let's, oh. Let's make the goal small. Yeah, make them small. It'll take a lot longer to puck. get to the end. Uh, medium was pretty good actually. The yeah. puck movement, yeah, or the puck weight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, didn't mind just it. search for the ad. Don't get caught in the crossfire. <laughs> crossfire. Ready? Mm -hmm. So you, did you take off the auto fire? No. No. Oh you wanted my it on. What did I change? I can't remember. Oh, the the size. Of oh, the, the size of the puck and the size of the goal. Didn't seem that the much size smaller. of the goal, yeah. 
This is a great example of a simple but fun game. Like, there's a lot of physics going on with the uh, bouncing balls and balls hitting other... The puck... What the hell is going on there? <laughs> I was you kept pretty hitting caught. into the corner. You do have an advantage with and disadvantage with the auto fire. Because you can yeah, rapidly you, get it over you, to my side. You run, you run out of shot really fast, though, and yeah. then you have no shot. The real life version is super slow. Oh, this would be a heavy puck. Oh, heavy puck version. Ah, oh, no, get it, get it, get no, it. no, 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 no! Running out of shot! Ah! We're playing with um, digital controls because, well, you don't have a yeah an analog. analog stick. I only have one. I mean, we could plug in the second, yeah. the actual controller, but I wanted to actually try out that. Make sure it works. We'll for try it. it. I'll try it without the. Um, yeah, we'll we'll try a, a without the uh, analog version. Oh yeah, that's true. We do have two analog controllers. Yep. Oh. oh yeah, you're still kicking my ass. Seven to three. Yeah, but. That's, there yeah. we go. My shot have to leave the screen before I can shoot again, which is you wanted it on. No, no, it's I. I'd like to try it without that. The auto fire. It'd be interesting to see. Well, you will next time. Two more points and you win. Oh. Nice. Oh, yes, right there! In. Oh, I'm catching up a little bit. Oh, oh, no, 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 no! Get it! Ah! <gasps> oh. Get off the wall. Oh, 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 so close! Oh! Damn it. No, get! Oh, 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 oh. High action. No! no! Yeah! Game over. <laughs> so let's try it with analog controls. Mm -hmm. Throw it down. <laughs> Whoosh. Victory! Slam. Ooh, this is very short. That's okay. I can sit on the floor if you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just to try out. Hang out with the catnip down here. All this, please. Mm -hmm. Hopefully unplugging controllers does not do anything. No, it will have to be close. Be in the cat cam today. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Let's go back to this. Switch it to... You can use the spinner for this. The I don't spinner. have a spinner, oh. unfortunately. That's so expensive. All this stuff is so expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Analog. I should just get low here. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, it is. Oh my god, it's crazy. crazy. I can't even control it. I can't control it. I don't know if this is better. <laughs> uh, it's so crazy. It's very responsive, like, yeah. way too responsive. Like, it's absolute positioning of your. Um... Well, maybe you can get used to it. Do you have auto fire? No, no. no. There is no auto fire. That's that's the hardware that had auto fire. Oh, gotcha. Alert! Battery out. Oh, stop! 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 Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, nostalgic, nostalgic. <laughs> and Ivory Tower collection. At least it shows on the screen. Yeah. It doesn't just go black. Hopefully, this is a battery with some battery in it. With some power. Does it have power? Slowly booting up. Come on. Oh yeah, 100%. There we go. And it loses focus because it's <laughs> like a digital lens. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, go! Ah, <laughs> Yeah. Super hard. 
I don't like the analog controller. No. Well, it's it's so sensitive. I like sensitive. the digital a little bit better. It you have to get used to it. I feel like I can't hit this button as hard either as the as the the other one, like the one you're um, uh -oh. the Saturn. There we go. The Saturn Genesis. Genesis. Sorry. Sa Sega. Sa Saturn I say is Saturn, Sega. I mean Sega. I mean Sega. I'm Saturn. <laughs> Oh, come on. That was totally, that was totally in your goal. <laughs> I, I... Yeah, not completely. I dispute the ruling. <laughs> Take it up with the ref. The ref is the computer, and the, the computer is... Blind. is already... The ref is blind. The ref is blind. Yeah. Come on. Oh. oh. Don't know what the score is. Either. It's a shame it's not on the screen while you're playing. Yeah. You only see it in the in between. Oh, that was close. Because I guess they didn't want it. They wanted the the board as big as possible. So. Oh, ooh, what a goal! That was quite Six a goal. Six to three. Six to three. Oh, Seven you're to three. Beating me this time. It's definitely better with the, with the digital controller. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I know. Was better I've gotten used to this now. Yeah. Yeah. I was better obviously. with the digital controller. Obviously. Yes, you were. <laughs> Time for payback. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I won uh, two out of three games. Oh, so I see. <laughs> Better than the World Cup, Metal Owner says. Seven says. Well, there's more score. <laughs> That's true. More action. More action. More, scores. more score. Higher scoring game. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh no. Six. You're still beating me. Yeah, it's you game only have point. To make it to 10. Oh my god, no! She's catching up! Uh, I don't know. Too many options. Oh. Too many too many opportunities for you to score on there me. There is. Oh! Oh, there we go. Player one wins, <laughs> finally! Uh, right. And that is it! We made it through the Vectrex show! Well, some of them. We've got more to do. Hello, Oh, Black I've got Ken. a stack of games. Oh. We'll be interested to see a four-player version of this. Will be better to have two players each top and bottom, or one player on each side. I would say like a defense and an offense, or just two free-roaming people on each team. Um, mm. He is. <laughs> He's pretty cute. He is super cute. <laughs> um, but I don't think there's a way to do four players on the Vectrex. I, I've never heard of a, a splitter for four people. For four people. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure there is a way. A po possibly? Especially if you do it um, with digital controls. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can just plug in the uh, the Quadtari right into it. Mm. Two Vectrex. Maybe. <laughs> Two Vectrex. <laughs> yeah, at the same time. They're, um, with the Vec Fever, mm. it included a game that what that you can you play a game with two vectrexes and what? link them together with the second port oh really and it was a 3d maze game it was like where a you can game? shoot each other oh really in the maze oh wow of course you have to have two vec fevers which is impossible <laughs> and two vectrexes <laughs> yeah. which is unlikely mm. <laughs> But Berserk Arena, there yeah. it is. That's the thing I was thinking of. That's I think. funny. That's funny. Is that the one I was thinking of? It Maybe. Was, yeah. Um, but you have to have. Um, oh, you can do it with the Vec Monkey? Mm. Can you? Well, I have two Vectrexes. Yeah. Mm. I'd have to get the connector, which is nothing, which is just a DB9 to DB9. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um, so that'd be good. Yeah, but if the link was using the port, then you're down to two controllers. Womp <laughs> um, the But you have a one controller on each Vectrex. That's mm -hmm. the thing. And so you that's need cool. two Vectrexes and to two play. controllers and a link. Wow. And two Vec Multis, which I have two Vec Multis. Do you really? Oh, <laughs> yes, right? I have that's that, interesting. I have the one in there and this one. Nice. Uh, there's a crossover, a pin swap on the cable. Oh, we have to have mm. a special cable. Mm. Um, right, I made the cable so I can send it to oh. you. <laughs> DJ, DJ Mips. Mips. Please, send it to me. <laughs> Uh, that would be amazing. We'll play it on the next uh, Vectrex, Vectrex show. show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just email me, james at zeropagehomebrew.com. <laughs> Thank you for highlighting Vectrex Homebrews tonight. It was a really fun show. It was. Super, super fun. And something really uh, different for, for the show. We haven't played Very any Vectrex different. on it. So yeah. 
I love the Vectrix. Synthesize. I love how they look. I love the games. Everything They're so unique. It. They're so cool. So we played Vector Blade, Vector Pilot, Release, Vector Patrol, mm -hmm. Spidex, and Crossfire. Mm -hmm. All really, really good games. Highly recommend all of them. Yep. And the winner is, yes, people have a Vectrax yeah. at 30%. <laughs> um, or, and they would like one, 21%. Or too much money, 13%. Mm. And then no, 26 and mm. not interested, uh, 8%. So nice. everybody wants one. Okay, good. <laughs> Very few people want one. I sent you an email. I'll, I'll get you some overlays for the next one. Oh, cool. Thank you so much. Be very cool. Stephen Cray? Cray? It's backwards, I'm guessing. <laughs> Yark Nevets. Uh, yeah, it was lots of fun. Um, I have a stack more of homebrew, like physical homebrew. Plus, yes. there's tons of games you can load onto the multi-carts as well. Yeah. Um, that that are physical. Got released. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, there, or that were released. Yeah. But if you missed out, you can still load it on there. Um, it's a huge homebrew community. There's lots and lots of games. Mm -hmm. Stephen Cray, lol. <laughs> that is right, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Or is that a massive, massive coincidence that it spells something backwards? Um, so we are almost yep. <laughs> yeah. on break. Mm, we're going to have a couple weeks off for the holidays. Kind of. To hang out with our little fluffy cats. Kind of a couple weeks off. Yeah. We have one more uh, show, which is on Friday, which is big show, Muddy Visions new secret homebrew mm. that will be having the world exclusive premiere it's for the 7800 and we have the a live interview with lewis hill as well to nice. talk about and intro the game uh i have seen bits of it it's very cool I'm right excited up now. my alley <laughs> yeah. um and we break for a little bit and we're back just before New Year's on the 30th. I just added this into okay, the cool. schedule. Cool, cool. I like that. I with like the that. Champ Games exclusive world premiere. <gasps> what? With John Champo. He's what? sneaking one under the wire. <gasps> <laughs> yep, he's sneaking one under the wire wow. just before the New okay, Year. Okay, I'm course. excited. I'm very excited. So that'll be that. on uh, Friday, um, December 30th. 30th. Okay. Um, so uh, that'll be a lot of fun. Do you have that mm -hmm. day off? Uh, I don't think I do. Oh, okay. uh, it might have to be in the evening then. It'll be in the evening. Yeah. yeah. Or you find someone to come play no, during the day, the but it'll be Or in the maybe Darcy will be here. We'll see. What, we'll see what, what day, day is it? Is it a Friday? Yeah, it's a Friday. Uh, yeah, I'll be working. Check my I'll be working, calendar. unfortunately. I think it's an evening show. Let's see. 30th. I don't know if Darcy would still be around, so... Oh, yeah. He may not be here anymore. Anyway. Yeah. But that's a Friday. It is with you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. With you. It'll be in the evening. Um, and then we'll be back on... Back. We'll be back, <laughs> back the next normal episode on the Tuesday with a special show. They're all special shows now. Um, a ZPH uh, interview with us yeah. on the show. Interviewed by my film partner... Giovanna, mm -hmm. asking a question about us and the cats, if you like. Are we going to get her to play some video games, or has she said um, no? No, no, she'll play video okay, games. Okay, good, yep. good, good. John sneaking a champ game just in time for the Atari Homebrew Awards. Yeah, that's, exactly right. <laughs> that's how he does Not it. Not coincidental. No, no. Um, yeah, and uh, <sighs> the end of the year is the cutoff for um, games, for mm -hmm. Atari games, for the Atari Homebrew Awards. Uh, which we'll be hosting uh, mid to late February. The date is not set. I have to confer with sports people <laughs> that it doesn't interfere with sports <laughs> somewhere in the world. Yeah, the Big. cats the cats are lousy at answering questions. They're pretty bad. We may have to answer for them. Yeah. <laughs> they'll, they'll probably meow a bit. but This one uh, will, especially if you offer food. Yeah, I'll go meow, meow, yeah. meow, meow, meow. <laughs> and they'll try and tell you the answer, but oh. we'll translate. Yeah. Um, yeah, he's super cute. The super bowel. Superb owl. <laughs> um, yeah, if you... Uh, people probably know this on Reddit. There is a subreddit called Super Bowl. Super Bowl. All it is is pictures of owls. Oh, Superb I owl. I love that. Because I they love go, that because so the Super much. Bowl will go after you if you use that word, right? 
safety so superb owl. Superb owl, oh super my. but it has nothing to do with fo uh, football. No, it's just photos all. of owls. Just I love it. Owl. I love it. Now I know where to post my owl photos. I love it. Yeah, no Super Bowl Sunday. Well, we ha hold it on the Saturday, so it won't interfere with any Sunday. Things. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Unless people do something on the Saturday before the I Sunday. Don't, I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, is it around Mardi Gras time? Because I know oh, that's important that for Mardi arena, fo yeah, arena foot. It but, is. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's on uh, January uh, 3rd is our interview, and then sometime in February, 5th Annual Atari Home Rewards live mm -hmm. presentation with us and the cats. We'll see if we can put the bow ties on the kitties. <laughs> oh, the bow ties! I don't know if they'll put up with oh. it. Mardi Gras is in February. See, that's an issue. So oh, we have to okay. work around that. Yeah. Doesn't that matter to me. Chicago Bears eliminated. <laughs> <laughs> Have to check date. Arena Foot, get back to us. Yeah, get back to us on that. Arena Foot. Check your calendar. <laughs> um, and definitely in the future, we'll be doing another Vectrex day. It's actually not that big of a setup. Um, point of camera. I just use the same connector I use for the laptop for the interviews and mm. point it at the screen. Move the Atari 8 bit system. Mm. Yeah. So we'll do that again. Nice. Um, so thank you for hanging out with us, everyone. I'm glad everyone really enjoyed the Vectrex. I really we enjoyed, enjoyed the show. It was really fun. We, yeah. I've been I, waiting for this for a long time. Years, I've been like, oh, fact, Vectrex, I'm we, so excited. We've been talking about it for years. Yes. Doing this. Yeah. So it finally came and I'm, I had so much fun. Yeah. Because I'd never played any of these games. I've just been buying them for years. Mm -hmm. And that's why we have the show. So we can play these games yeah, exactly. that I buy. <laughs> Yeah, a lot yeah. of people uh, turned out for the show as well. Yeah. So it was yeah. very popular. It's I could, great. I could see there are a lot of people in, in watching and chatting too. So Thanks, y'all. Super exciting. fun. My favorite system, a total obsession. Me yes. too. Like, I have a complete collection <laughs> of all the games. <laughs> yeah. Plus the accessories. I have mm. the light pen. I have the 3D imager. I have every single North American release. Tons of homebrews. You can tell I love the system too. Yeah. Um, thanks for hanging out, Arena Foot. Oh, so, well, Tuesday, that's okay. Fat, yeah, there you go, that's so fine. Well, this Fat after Tuesday, that. yeah. So it's later in the year. Yeah. Uh, Arena Foot, <laughs> uh, Yark, uh, Nevets. Yeah. Uh, DJ Mips, Chalcedony Mao. To the 21st. Dan yeah. AVC, Nostalgic, Old Style, Atari 2600 Dude, Metal Lunar 7, um, Chitlit La, Rendered Ghost. Uh, S. Ramirez, yep. Ivory Tower Collections. Uh, who else? Who else? Lots of people talking. Mo2277. That's a new name. Carl Tim G. of Legend. Thank you for joining us. Carl G. Old Style. Yep. Uh, oh, Yates. Yates Sparks. Are you related to Yark Nevets? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Atari 800 XL rules. Yeah, Dan ABC. And that's the end of the list. Nice. Anybody else who was here early or was lurking? Yeah. Uh, and Chilela. Gut Nacht. Gut Nacht to you as well. And we will see you for the last show of the year this Friday. Well, the 30th is technically the last show of the year. Technically. So this Friday, the, the last break. show before the break for the uh, holidays. Yeah. For the exclusive world premiere of Muddy, Vuzz Muddy, Muddy, Muddy Vision's, Vision's secret new yeah. homebrew. You don't want to miss it. Yeah. Uh, don't wait another four work. years for the next Vectrex show. No, no, we've no, got no, no. the setup. I've altered my system. It is ready to just boom, yeah. play immediately. Yeah, Ivory Tower Collections too. Yeah, no, you were glad you could join us. Yes. You working know, even if you're working, vision. yeah, in the yeah. background. Awesome. Get those yeah. ColecoVisions modded. Yeah. Uh, or upgraded, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we're out of here. Uh, so everybody have a good week. And uh, we will see you again on Friday. So tune in then. Bye, everyone. Bye.